You are ecstatic no, to watch who, who America let you Did right now. That? Yeah, you're like, oh, we Did can't I do anything that? better. Like you sound like a like you sound so pathetic. I, how you how I, you look I, at I, your I, country? I... Yo. Hey, what's up, bud? How you doing? What up, what up, G? Well, uh, here we are, a month or so later. February, March, April, May, like two months later, I guess, huh? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. About two months later. It's supposed to be a few. It's supposed to be a few weeks, but we here. We here nonetheless. You feel me? Well, how you uh, how you feeling? Ah, great, excellent. Life is beautiful. Do you remember Come what on. topic specifically you wanted to revisit? <laughs> I think mainly last time we talked about the Corona stuff. So I don't know if you want to hop right into that or what. I mean, we can't. Is there a link to this so I can post it? Um, Twitch.tv slash Destiny is my stream link. <coughs> okay, let me go ahead and. Let me see what's popping. Hold on. I'm posting my Twitter real quick. You feel me? Yeah. What's your Twitter? Um, I don't have one right now. Oh, okay. That's cool. <clears throat> Twitch.tv slash destiny. Well, like you said, two months later, and I mean, just based on pure statistics, we still ranked on the bottom half of the countries as far as Corona deaths per capita. We in the top half as far as testing per capita. We're number one as far as testing overall, but I don't like to really use the overall statistics. We are big, we're a large country. So we're like, what, number four? Overall, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, you think you would say after everything, you think the U.S. is doing a pretty good job? We're doing a decent job. We obviously not doing the best job, which is why we're not, we're not number one per capita in testing, or the bottom of mm, the. We're not like in last place as far as Corona uh, deaths per capita, but we're doing we're, we're doing a, we're doing a, a decent job. I mean, do, do you disagree with those statistics? I mean, I disagree that we're doing a decent job. We are approaching, the last time we talked, I think we were at about two or 3,000 deaths. We're now approaching 100,000 deaths, and we've shut down our economy completely for, what, a month or two now? And then we, it's going to remain shut down for who knows how much longer? Yeah, that w which is insane because the country shouldn't be shut down anyway. To me, that's BS. Well, I mean, um, like, even with the economy shut down, we are careening towards 100,000 deaths. Like, I imagine it would be even worse had we not taken such dramatic measures, right? Well, that's what, that's what you think, but I remember during that time, we were on the bottom half as far as corona deaths per capita, and we're still on the bottom we're the bottom as far as, like, corona deaths per capita. So the number, the overall number, is, of course, of course lar larger because we have a large country. Also, a lot of these deaths are not even directly related to Corona. But a lot of people, a lot of people are dying from other things. Then they're able to pick Corona on it because, as we all know, hospitals receive more money per Corona uh, COVID nineteen case they have. Yeah. So this has been addressed by several doctors, and Fauci himself has even come out and said that the number of people that have died via coronavirus is definitely undercounted. Um, that a lot of older people might be dying in places where they just don't have the resources to test for either antibodies or to test to see if they were infected that just aren't counted as corona deaths. Um, there have been Doctor, who said that? Fauci. Oh, the guy that had the models that were all pretty much wrong. The guy that told the guy that pretty much said that wearing a mask doesn't really help, but still wear a mask. I, yeah. Um, I mean, you can tell me he said that, but unless a hundred percent of doctors agree with that. So 100% of doctors don't agree with anything, but if I'm not going know, to trust that's, that's, Dr. Fauci, who seems to have more information available to him than any other individual person. Also, right now, the CDC and the WHO both do recommend people wear masks publicly. Um, initially, they were recommended against unless you were a caregiver because they were worried about running out of them for healthcare professionals. But I mean, I don't know what, how that's relevant at all to also the predictions, the models vary dramatically all the way from 40,000 deaths to over two and a half million deaths. Um, but it's really hard to predict that early on because you don't know what preventative measures states and the federal government are going to take. Well, they themselves said they overreached on the models. Um, CDC has also admitted that. Um, but regardless of all of that, we're still, like I said before, is tell me if I'm lying or is it true that we're still at the towards the bottom? 
as far as Corona deaths per capita, which matters more than a total number, if we're trying to compare it to other places, because the only way you can claim when somebody did good or bad is to compare it to other things. And we're also in, amongst the top as far as testing per capita. And if you want to make overall numbers, we can but with that, because I, I, I don't like overall numbers because they don't really show you the full picture. So are them stats accurate? Um, so, I mean, so right now I think we rank at uh, 12th for deaths per capita. So there are countries that are doing worse than us. Um, however, like, I mean, America has a lot of rural area that never really gets exposed to like international airports and stuff. I'm sure we've got a lot of populations that are outside of places that are reasonably going to get infected. Also, we still have new infections occurring in the United States. The outbreak was in Europe first. It's still possible that we could exceed other countries in terms of deaths per capita. Um, I, I, I mean, I don't know if like comparing just like raw population to each is okay, just because of the nature of how virus is spread. But we also don't know where this is going to end up at as well. Right. Well, <clears throat> well, you know, last time we talked about the per capita numbers, you said, let's wait a few weeks, then see. And of course, we're a month later, two months later. And even if you don't like the statistics, I'm asking, are those statistics accurate currently? The statistics are accurate, yes. But that's okay, not... yeah. Okay. Yeah, the United States has done an atrocious fucking job of dealing with this, though. Literally everybody around the world agrees. Compared to who, though? Compared to where we should be, where we ignored it for two months after shutting down travel from China and for how long USA it's taken us to get our testing deaths. like going. And the idea that our president is still pushing quack pseudoscience drugs that have no evidence for them, and now people are running out. Like, I mean, we've failed in a number of ways. Like, Well, you can say that, but if we're comparing how we handle it to other countries... Then we're not, we're not even in the bottom half of who handled it the worst based on just the pure, the, the, just the pure numbers that that really matter. You know, deaths per capita and testing. Yeah. And so I, honestly, yeah. So the last time we talked, you didn't think the number is going to go over fifty thousand deaths. We're approaching one hundred thousand. Now you're holding on to deaths per capita. The infection started in Europe before the U.S. Who's to say that we don't have a higher per capita death rate by the time we're done with this? It's still possible. But even well, if it wasn't, Europe and, and and Southeast Asia, they were dealing with this before us. We had so much more warning. We should be killing this. We should be doing way better. Why do we compare ourselves to somebody like Italy instead of somebody like South Korea, who was even closer to the initial? outbreak well just comparing it to countries that that have been impacted by the coronavirus and um yes the current death toll that is being you know spouted and by the cdc is over a hundred thousand but you also said let's wait after i talked about per capita that's when you said let's wait and see because you felt like that was gonna have a dramatic shift which it didn't. So if I, I and I don't remember saying this, but I'm just take your word for it. If I said it wouldn't go over fifty thousand, and if I said that and said that as it was, that it definitely wasn't going over. That means I so was incorrect. We still have more time. I don't know why you think the U.S. being twelfth is something to be proud of. We're doing worse that, than that, you did. You're like we're twelfth in the no, world at, at deaths per capita. Like that I, I, I never said it's something to be proud of. I said I brought up per capita numbers last time. You say let's wait because you were implied that it was going to have a dramatic shift. I'm just telling you it didn't. I'm saying compared it, to other countries. Yeah, compared to, to we're doing worse than Canada. We're doing worse than Portugal. We're doing worse than Brazil. We're doing worse than Peru. We're doing worse than Germany, Denmark, Iran, like Austria. <laughs> like, I, I mean, like Eastern European countries. Were, and testing? What? And testing? I think in Are testing, we? we're like 30th in the world or something. We're 35th in the world in testing, no, I no. believe. No, as far as testing per capita, we're actually number four, the last numbers that I looked at. We're number four. And as far as uh, t testing overall number, we're number one. But once again, I don't really give valid val validity to overall numbers because per capita is really give you the full picture. Well, hold on. Let me check real quick. Mm-hmm. And also, another thing we brought up in the last debate about Trump cutting funding. There's no evidence of that. Showing me CDC receiving less money is not does not mean Trump cut funding because Trump, every time he tried to cut funding, it got the, uh, declined every time. Um, my own, um, I would have to go and see, but I mean, even if that's true, well, that doesn't change the fact that he tried to cut funding. Well, I, but I, last time I said he tried to cut and it got basically denied. They voted against what he was saying, but then that's you showed, true. you showed them receiving less money than a previous year and alluded that that meant that he cut funding. And I did, a, I, I looked a day and night, like for three nights straight looking for that. Cause if I was wrong, I wanted to know. You know. Okay, sure. So it's, for the first fun. thing that we're wrong about, so number one, the U.S. is 35th in the world right now for testing. And for testing per yes. capita? Yes, it's 35th in the world. Okay. I, well, I, I, let me. I'm about to send you a link because I don't. I don't know what date is that that you're on right now. 
the current up-to-date information right now. We're 35th in the world. And we're the richest country in the world. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hold on. Uh, hold on. You can still hear me, right? Yep. Okay, cool. All right, let me go see this link because I already... Coronavirus testing per, per this is insider by the way. Okay. <clears throat> the US has performed more total tests than any other country. More than nine million, but it lags behind in terms of testing per capita. Italy has performed the highest number of coronavirus tests per million people, nearly forty-two thousand. It's Italy number one, Canada number two, United Kingdom number three, and United States number four. This was updated May twelfth, two thousand and twenty. Now I'm gonna try to send you this. I'm, I'm about to try to send you this link because I, I don't know what <clears throat> link you're looking at. Okay, I'm just going by like the the world world meters or worldometers or whatever. Uh, here's another link from Statista. This has the U.S. ranked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth. Um, I guess some people include some countries and some people don't. Um, I'm about to go to yours to. Uh, <clears throat> I'm about to go to your link. Rate of COVID nineteen testing. Okay, wait. So, so what you, why do you think, I'm really curious. Why do you think that what yeah. you just linked me shows what you says it shows? What, coronavirus testing per capita? Yeah, so can you just walk me through your thought process for what this link that you gave me shows? Well, it was after Trump said that we're leading the world in testing. Mm -hmm. And because we have performed more total tests. Well, this is test performed. We and we have tested more than nine million people. So we have we have overall testing. We have performed more tests than the other country. Yeah, but, like, but so like what that that link that you sent me, that's just like seven or eight random countries. That's not showing the U.S. is fourth out of every country. This is just like they picked like seven countries and they put it on a chart to show where we stand right now. But this isn't every single country in the world being compared. But while U.S. has performed the highest total number of tests for a while, it does not have the highest rates of testing per capita. When it comes to tests performed per capita, uh -huh. the U.S. lags behind Italy, Canada, and the U.K. Yeah, that's just now, three other countries that were behind. But there are well, other countries we're behind as well. So Okay, so you're saying this is not showing a full chart? No, it's just those are just three other countries that people reading this article would be familiar with that were also behind. That's not saying we're fourth in testing per okay, capita. My, my response to that is it this 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 is also this also said the same article said that italy leads the world <clears throat> okay. per capita and it has italy on there so unless you're i mean if you're saying that this chart isn't showing full countries you said to pick random countries out that, that wouldn't make sense because italy is number one on this chart no that's like saying um, if somebody said something like the u.s has like the u.s workers um aren't working the most hours in the world we work less hours than say germany and japan that doesn't mean that like Germany is one, Japan is two, and the U.S. is three. That's just like two other countries, right? That's not well, like ranking us third between all other countries. It's just giving a couple other countries for comparison. So in this article, well, it's like when it comes to tests performed, we lag behind Italy, Canada, and the U.K. But we also lag behind other countries as well. It just named three that. That that's why it doesn't say here that the U.S. is fourth. It well, just... it says we lag behind those, but also says Italy is number one. So on that chart, you got. Let me just go see something real quick. Yeah, so you can sort on the right chart. side by tests per one million <clears throat> population, and then that'll give you uh, like yeah, population. Yeah. So I'm like some that. of these things why, are like small. Is... What? Okay. Well, hold on. Even by what you're saying. <clears throat> okay, this is also this is a Portugal is number one. Correct? Are you reading the same thing I'm reading? Um, I linked you another thing that has Portugal listed as one. Yeah. Okay. This I, no, I'm reading your link. Yeah, I sent you two. So, well, but this is this is just showing some countries, and it shows the U.S. is like eighth or whatever, or tenth on this, or yeah. worse. Sorry. Yeah. 
Yeah, on this one that you that you linked me, this is your link. Yeah. It's Portugal, Belgium, Spain, uh, Qatar, Russia, Italy, Singapore, UK, Belarus. Don't know what that is. Germany, Switzerland, and USA. That's what yours is showing, correct? On, on that one, yeah. So that links is twelfth on that chart. Yeah. Yeah. See, but my um, this says this says it was published May twenty second. So two things: one, miles from May twelfth, so something could have shifted. You think that the all of these other countries dramatically jumped ahead of the U.S.? They did millions nope, of tests. Me... And... Yeah, okay, sorry, go ahead. No, I was about to say, but that Business Insider link still said Italy is leading the world. So in this chart, Italy isn't leading the world. So the question is, why are these charts different? And you said another one. Well, the other one you sent me is not tests. The other one you sent me is cases and, and, and depths. Uh, well, on the right, you can see tests per 1 million population. So basically, are we saying that all three charts are showing something different? Is that what we're... Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe a little, but in the two that I linked, the U.S. is nowhere near the top. And in the one that you linked, the U.S. severely lags behind some countries. It's just listing random countries. It doesn't, it doesn't claim the U.S. is fourth. It's just showing some countries and then... Yeah. Um, the problem with that is yours... The, the second one you send me is still it, it has the same type of chart. It's not one, two, three, four. It's just giving you and then you can you can filter it. But that that article is for the business side. You can also link to where they got their chart from and go to the same one and it says the same thing. So even in this one, you said it's twenty seven entries, right? And the one you sent me, this the 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 Tista one is twenty seven entries. Sure. Here, even remember one, in your... two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So the like US eight is ranked 12th out of 27. Sure. So also in the article that you sent me, right? If you read one paragraph down, it literally says the U S comes in behind or comes in behind that trio with about 28,480 tests performed per 1 million residents. According to Vox, Germany, New Zealand, and Denmark are also beating the U.S.'s testing rate. So even in that exact same article, two paragraphs down, it says that there are like countries that it left out of this chart. Yes. So according to Vox, Germany, New Zealand, and Denmark are also the U S uh testing rate yeah that does say that that, that is accurate yeah so then the u.s is not the u.s is not fourth like we would no one is saying that not not even business okay. insiders so I, I'm, I'm just take your word for it but they're also not 40 40 something as you said um well so on, on this larger site it, it ranks it as 36 but it's including like a lot or something like that yeah 35th but it's including so a lot of like small wrong. islands well no we, we, I, we, I never made a claim we, at where the u.s was i just know that it's pretty yes, bad you did. Yes, you did. You can rewind it if you want. I mean, that's up to you. But sure. e even in the way so, you said, they're still in, they're, they're still in the top. They're still in the top portion out of the twenty-seven entries on the on the thing you sent me. Correct? Yeah, they're they're on the topish portion, but doing pretty bad. Like we're really far behind a lot of other countries. We are far behind uh, twelve countries. Not even far. We're just behind. We're the countries. richest country in the world, and we had way more time to prepare than these other countries did. You don't think that's a little pathetic? Did we? Do Do you not think that China and W uh and the World Health Organization uh told us incorrect things, falsehoods, and then they they told us late? Is that not accurate? It doesn't matter. We knew like oh that does hey okay well you know if it doesn't matter it doesn't matter China they they knew about it and they well, well we think they purposely didn't tell us in time and they gave us even if they purposely didn't tell us in time by the time we knew it we had two months to prepare and we did nothing we did nothing after the China travel ban we just sat here and did nothing do you agree with that or do you disagree with that no I disagree because what did we do in the again, two months after we banned travel from China did we get tests prepared no, no. did we get personal protective equipment prepared what did we do we, we did multiple we did multiple travel bans right no multiple travel bans. we yeah, did, we did one Chinese travel ban the European one came months later the European one came months later. Are you saying it came more than two months later than the first? Than, uh, it was at, than it was at least a month. I, I don't know, know if it was two months. It was at least a month. Okay, 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 okay. You said two months. So I'm just, I'm just making sure we want to change the same time frame on this. So you said two months, nothing was done. I'll tell you it was multiple travel bans done in that time, which is accurate because it was multiple travel, ban done, travel bans done in that time. If you think we should have did more, that's excellent. That's great. I'm not going to disagree with you that we should have did more. But if you think we're doing bad, the numbers, even in your links, don't show we're doing terrible. Because you have to compare it to other countries. You have good, you have average, you have bad. You have all, all of this. Even based on the chart that you gave me. 
Okay. We're doing above average. I want a political party and I want a president that's not happy with America being 14th when it comes to things like this. I don't know why Nobody you're except you are. Though. You're happy with it. You are ecstatic no, to watch who, who America you? let you did right now. That? Yeah, you're like, oh, we did can't I do anything that? better. Like you sound like a like you sound so pathetic. I, I, how you how I, I, you look I, at I, your I, country. I, I no, no, you are. Better? You're happy did that I we're like 13th in the Then I said we can't do better though. Then I say that though. You know, you're like, well, we might be middle of the road in some European countries. So I didn't say that. Yeah, that sounds oh, no, like the, what you're the, saying. That's what you're implying. You think we're doing an no, okay no, no, job? No, 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 no. So don't you think we're doing a okay? No, do you think listen, we're doing an okay job or a bad job? Listen, don't add to what I said. Okay. Did I ever say I am happy that we're not number one? Did I ever? That's say what you're it? implying. Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't tell me what I'm implying. Tell me if I said it though. I don't care what you're saying. It's about what the implication is. <laughs> now you don't care if I said it because you're making up stuff as you go. No. You if do, somebody you, tells me like, oh yeah, well we're doing about as well as we can, or you know, oh well we're doing better than other I've people, blah blah blah. Okay, so then you think the U.S. could have done a lot better. No, I'm saying I, if you if you thought we should have done a lot better, I can understand that. To say we could have done better, I can understand okay. that. Okay, well then let's clarify right now. Do you think the U.S. could have done a whole lot better, or do you think we did about as well as we could have? Well, I don't know the ins and outs of everything, so I don't so know. So you don't have an opinion on how you feel about the U.S. being 14th no, in testing, I, about us approaching 100,000 no, deaths, okay. about us shutting down our economy for two months? You don't have no opinion me, about that. If it, if it was up to me, of course I wish we were better in these numbers. That's a weasel answer. That's I'm not, not asking if it's up to it's you. It's not a weasel answer because you don't know what's going on on the inside. You of don't course know we what, knew. No, 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 countries no, like South Korea no, knew. No, yeah. No, you don't. No, you don't. Why did South Korea do so much better than the U.S.? You don't know what the, you don't know what the, uh, the World Health Organization told uh, the Trump administration. You don't know when China did this. You don't know what exactly we they do. told. We do. We have know, all the timelines are public. Let let we have all the timelines are public. Let let you don't know what briefings Trump got. You don't know exactly what was told to him in his briefings. You we don't do. know what Fauci's nice public about do. it. Yeah, we know no, everything. We know all of that's, this. That's mm -hmm. what you hear. You don't know. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And a lot of the stuff that has happened has been recommended by Dr. Fauci. So even by so even by your standards, if you think this administration has failed as far as responding to coronavirus, that means you think Dr. Fauci has also failed at responding to the coronavirus. And I'm not saying we did the best. I've never said that actually. I'm just saying you can't. The numbers just don't show that we did terrible if we're comparing it to other countries you can't say something is terrible unless you have a comparison for it my question is whether or not america could have did a whole lot of a better job because if i have leaders i want them to be held accountable for the decisions that they're making to know if i should have a better leader or not so i'm curious if you think trump did all that he could to help with this travel ban or are you going to give me a weaselly rat answer by saying well if it was me blah 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 do you think no, that Trump did the best job answer. he could have, or do you think he did a shit job? No, I gave you an honest answer. I don't. I, I don't want to speak on him because I'm not in it. But I have a question. You for ha you. Wait, do wait. You you're going to be voting oh. for president in a few months. I, 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 do you? Are I, I, you going to vote question. thinking Trump did a good job on this, or do you think Trump did a I garbage a job on this? I, 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 according to the numbers, I think he did a decent job. Okay, not gotcha. So America being 14th, that's a de I think America is one of the great, greatest countries decent, on the planet. Decent, I don't think 14th. That's not. The, I don't want a 14th place America. That's not what I was grown up. Like I didn't grow up to believe in that. Both my parents were military, Air Force. I didn't grow up thinking America should be 14th place. We're not talking about the best economy. We're not talking about who has the best trade deals. We're not talking about who's making the most off trade. We're mm -hmm. not talking about we're not talking about the uh, uh, unemployment rates in uh, countries compared per capita. Yep. We're not talking about the murder rates. We're not talking about idiots. We're talking about a situation, a special mm -hmm. case situation. When I, I grew up you, and I learned I about America, I learned America was the first one to put a man on the moon. I learned that America was leading the world in science research and vaccinations. That that's what America did, not 14th in the place in testing. Are you that's just mad about? Are you just mad about our education system or where we rank in math uh, compared to other countries? Like yeah, that's a, among countries? other things, but I'm just looking at this coronavirus okay. stuff. Okay, America is so, the uh, richest country on the planet. Yeah. I don't know why we're middle of the pack yeah. in dealing with okay, it and why I, you're I happy question, with though. that. Yeah. You stop, stop saying I'm happy with that because that's, that's inaccurate. You, you, you are. You're no happy with that. that. You're, you think you're, I, it's okay. I, my question is, do you think if China would have told us correct information, accurate information, and told us earlier, do you think we could have had a jump start on this? Nope, because we sat on our ass for a month after the China travel ban. Why don't you go look hey, at the timeline? Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. Do this for me. I want you to do a project for me. I want you to, number one, look up when they said that there was no transmission from person to person, which they didn't actually even say. Look up that. Then look up eight days or ten days later when they said, oh, there is person to person. Look up when we did the travel ban, and then I want you to tell me what we did between the China and the European travel ban. I'll wait for your answer on that. I want to know what we did between the <laughs> China and the I, European travel ban. Let me know. I, 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 I know the timeline, but for you to sit here and say they would have told us earlier, then nope, you don't think this would happen. But you also. Why would the 10 me, other days. Let me finish. Yeah. Let me finish. Mm -hmm. But you also tried to tell, but you also, your same breath from the same mouth, mm -hmm. told me that based on, I guess, what you think, do like do I think we could have did a better job? The question, do I want, like, should, should, do I think we. I want us to do a better job, of course, but we have to know the circumstances of all everything. We're not first place in everything. That's not reality. That's not 
real life. <laughs> I'm confused. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Why would eight extra days of warning from China matter when we did nothing in the month after the U.S. travel ban? Who China? says eight? Who says eight more days? It was what like eight was to a, ten days. A, that was the difference. What? When was the first case in China? <clears throat> I don't remember when the first case in China was, but the, the big thing that people point to where they're like, oh, they said there was no human to human transmission. We found out that that wasn't true like 10 days later, and we didn't do anything it, for over a month. Between, I want to know what we did between the Chinese and the European travel ban. I want an answer to this. I don't know why you won't answer. Was, I want to know was, what we did. Why do you keep pivoting? Why can't you just answer that? No, I, I'm not pivoting. You are pivoting. I'm telling you that the first case was in 2019. So when you say, what? You ask me questions like, why couldn't we this, this, this? I don't know the briefings. You don't know the briefings. I don't know why you think you do. I don't know if you have I'm some just, insider I'm information. I'm so curious why you don't have an answer for why we didn't do anything between the Chinese and the European travel ban. I just want to know the, the answer to that. Let me re let me repeat your question. Let me repeat I'm gonna, your question. I, okay, sure. But I'm going to repeat that question again because you're still not answering. No, no, just I, giving you a I'm, warning. I'm glad, Go for I, it. I'm, I, I want you to. Okay. I want you to. Okay. I want you to. And I also need you to look up the first case from China. But let me, let me repeat your question again. You're asking me. Mm-hmm. You're not. Do you work in government? Nope. I don't need to though. Most of this information is public. No, I'm saying, but, but but do you though? No, you don't. Okay, me neither. You're asking me why did mm -hmm. a government administration wait eight days to respond to what again? Repeat. Let's say that last part again. I want to make sure. Why I is it that if we clear. thought that this was so bad that we banned travel from China? Why did we do nothing in between the Chinese and the European travel ban to prepare ourselves for this pandemic? That's what I want to know. You want to know that? Now, my question is simple. I don't know. That's a real answer. What do you think? I want to know your answer to your question. Sure. Why I can give you a couple it? things. One, I we could have, I, I, we could have stockpiled more personal protective equipment. Two, we could have made sure that we were ramping up productions on ventilators before we were worried we'd need them. Three, we could have begun social distancing or contact tracing via testing earlier as well. Those are three things right off the bat that so, we could have done so that would have dramatically improved our ability to deal with this pandemic. So why didn't we do any so, of those three things? No, no. No, that's what I want you to answer. Why didn't we? I, uh, and, and Why I'm didn't we? Because answer, Trump didn't think it was real. Trump because Trump is... was a fucking <laughs> idiot that didn't think it was real. I knew it. Mm -hmm. I knew it. That's what I was like. Yeah. yeah. This is what this is what I wanted to get to. Because the way you okay, so tell me why you think we didn't do it. No, I'm telling you the real answer. The yeah. real answer to that question mm -hmm. is simply we don't know, right? That's the so real we had to wait for everybody to get infected and start dying by the tens of thousands before we could get our ass in gear. That's the America no, that you no, want. No, no. We, we, no, no. Why do you they, like they that America? I want to know why they, you're content with a rank 14 took, America that can't took, respond to pandemics. I'm so curious they, about that. They, they took they took measures. They mm -hmm. did travel bans. And you saying you think they should have did something more. You're I'm asking you. Away. I'll ask you one more time because you still have an answer. I, I answered your question already. You just don't like the answer. Even though the answer, my answer no, was your answer, answer was, answer, I don't know. Your answer, that's your answer. Because that's the truth. You said why? I'm telling you, we don't know. Your answer was okay. because orange man bad. <laughs> no. Why was Trump on public media saying over and over and over again, this is going to go away. This isn't a serious problem. This is nothing to worry about. Nothing's going to happen. Why was he on because record? He thought, it was. he thought it was. And I, and, oh, and, so and, then and you he, admit it. You agree with me then. He was wrong. He didn't know what he was talking about. You just agreed with my answer. He thought it was going to go away. He thought it was going to go away after the China travel ban. Thank you for agreeing with me. What's the next topic you want to talk about? Yes, he thought he thought the travel ban was going to help. Of course he did. What are you talking about? That's good. He thought just he didn't do that. Why would why he think? So, why, why would he, he so think? Right now? Why, I'm not triggered. triggered. I just right think it's really funny that you are. agreed with me. So you, he thought the I China travel ban was going to help when this when this pandemic was yes. already active in Europe. It was already active in Europe. Why do you question. think the would Chinese you, travel ban would help? <laughs> would you have done a travel ban? Uh, maybe if it was in time, if it was early enough, if that was recommended. But there are other forms of. Ah, you just said something very important. Very important. You said if it was recommended. You don't think Fauci now, was recommending like travel bans? But, but hold I'm, on. I'm also, travel bans aren't the only way to combat this. What I probably would have done is started at the very least, even if we didn't do another travel ban, would be to stockpile the fucket of testing kits. Would be to start doing I, that immediately and then work on things like okay. contact tracing. I, yeah. I, I have a question about you saying the recommended thing. Um, now, when Trump first said something about a travel ban, what did Dr. Fauci and others say? Um, my understanding is that their characterization of it was that a travel ban on its own doesn't really do much to prevent a pandemic. That's not to be what they true. Said. Yeah, that is about what they said. Yeah, no, that a no, travel ban on its own said, doesn't really do much. That you need to do more work on, on top of that. They said it's not that real right now to the point we need to do travel bans. That's what they were saying on mainstream media. That's what they were saying. So my I'm not. Wait, wait, wait. Why are we talking about what they're saying I'm on not, mainstream I'm not, I'm not, media? I don't care what they're saying no, on mainstream no, media. My president saying, oh, shouldn't be getting his oh, information oh, from media. mainstream media. You, Why are you happy no, with a president what, that gets his intel what, briefings from Fox News? What, okay. You, you obviously misunderstood what I'm saying. I'm talking about what Dr. Fauci was saying on mainstream media. That's why I said his name specifically. So if they were saying this, who was advising Trump to make decisions, though? I mean, I would imagine people at the CDC or the National Institute of oh! Health. Oh! That, yeah, yeah. And you did all of this rah, rah, rah about listening.
See, blah, blah, blah. well, it seems like to me he was listening to the CDC, though. That's that's who that, that's who. So was you're telling me that the CDC didn't recommend getting PPE ready or ventilators ready or tests ready? Well, ventilators were found, weren't they, in New York? Yeah, after tons of people that already died. So you think we were ready for this? Uh, and just 100,000 people died in our economy was shut down for months or whatever for no reason? Who job is it Who job is it to get ventilators to, uh, for the hospitals? Who job is that? Well, in the case of a pandemic, it probably requires coordination with the federal government. That's what I would imagine. No, but, the, okay, you did, a, you, you did a fun little spin around there. It's a, that's a state's job, right? Mm, I, I mean, I don't. I, I think that yeah. it's a country no, I mean, it job. Is. I think it's like a countrywide job. I mean, technically, no, you, it, if, you, if you want to be, like, hyper-specific, it's the job of the hospital, technically, is to, to procure ventilators, right? But, like, in the event of, like, one-off, like, events like this, we probably would hope that the federal government would be involved coordinating with state governments that would coordinate with hospitals and medical system. Right? Well, if states can't make it happen, you mm -hmm. ask the federal government for help. Sure. When they ask the federal government for help, what did the federal government do? Um, Started helping? Yes! Okay. Way too late. <laughs> I mean... But is, 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 is that fault of... If that's true, if you say uh, way too late, let, let, I'm gonna just go thing right now. Yeah. Is that fault on the state or is that fault on the the uh, the federal? From the government? federal government, led by Trump, that's saying repeatedly that this is going to go away. <laughs> Listen, to how you even said that the federal government led by all you want. <laughs> also, as a, as an aside too, Fauci wasn't criticizing Trump for his travel restrictions. That's a lie made up by Trump that you just bought without ever questioning. A lie? A lie? Yeah. You 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 don't you you don't think he said that that that's not a no. uh that, that that's not a good okay. Nope. Fauci has made public statements crediting the restrictions okay. which went into effect early February with helping yeah, he, to slow the spread did, of the virus did. in the United States. Yeah. Okay, he did, he did it afterwards, but I, don't worry about it. I'm about to find that too for you. I'm about to find that too for you. But re back, back to the main point. According to the numbers, to say we did terrible, that just means it's you and your mom because you want Trump to look bad. Because in reality, you can say, if you say, based on the numbers, we're not doing the best, that is an accurate statement that's backed by pure statistics. If you say <clears throat> we are doing the worst job, that is a false statement. I never said we were doing the worst job. I said that I grew up learning that America was the best country in the world, and for some reason, Republicans that are supposed to believe in that are telling me that we should be happy being 14th place in testing. That just sounds really pathetic to me, I guess. No, I expected I didn't more say from this country. I've never said... You, you, because you're being a coward. Because you're saying, well, I, I didn't say we should be happy with it, but I'm not going to say I'm disappointed in it. You're being a coward because you're too scared to criticize Trump. Because you're, you're a partisan I'm, hack. Who's That's the problem. I, all the time. I don't like with Trump oh. banned bump stocks. I okay. don't... Then, I, no, oh, on ugh. easy issues that nobody gives a fuck about. But on a big issue like this, you're too a scared to take a stance. A lot of people care about that. With Trump being that Talk about bump pissed. stocks. Nobody cares about yes, bump stocks. Yes, we do. No, they what are you don't. Talking no about? real gun owner gives a fuck about bump stocks. <laughs> they don't. It's a small fucking issue. Nobody cares about it. Okay. What? You think that's a small issue? Yeah. So why people, why people in the movement outraged about it? Trump probably lost votes because of that. I seriously doubt it. There's no way. Bump stocks are a super niche issue. Most gun owners don't give a fuck. The only people that were marching were obese white dudes that have never shot guns in their fucking lives anyway. Most people don't give a fuck about bump stocks. Those like, are a lot of assumptions that you have nothing to back that up with. What? What? Okay. Um, I mean, if you think Republicans are going to lose votes from, like, the NRA or endorsements from the NRA because they banned bump stocks after the worst I'm, mass shooting in the history of, I think, like, the planet, like, I, that, that's pretty funny I'm, to me, but okay. Do well, you think I feel, that— I still think banning bump, bump stocks is trash. I disagree with Trump, his uh, how he viewed same-sex marriage. Um, I wish he was a little more, you know, religious in that aspect. Wow. Definitely. Yeah? Yeah. yeah so, do. so do you think the United States did as good a job as they could have and handling the coronavirus spread. You asked me. You asked me the same question a different way, and I'm gonna tell you again. You don't have an I answer. Don't know. You don't. You, I, you're too scared to answer. Know. Nobody's scared. It's a fact. You're, no, you're scared. You're too afraid you, to no, answer. No, no, I'm not. I'm not scared. It's just a fact. Mm -hmm. While speaking on something, you like you're not the president. Mm -hmm. You don't know what you would have did in that situation. You can make claims on what you would have did. Why are you, you mad that he banned know. bump stocks? Then maybe the FBI was giving him intelligence that people were planning terrorist attacks using bump stocks. No, he banned bump stocks because of a, because mass because quote unquote mass shootings were happening. Yeah, how do you know that they didn't have intel that more was coming? How do you know that? You're not no, the president, saying, are you? Banning bump stocks is not gonna help mass shooting. Of course it does. It helps you fire your weapon faster. You can get illegal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but bump stocks aren't illegal. It's easier to get legal weapons than it is to get illegal weapons. So why do so many people have illegal weapons then? Well, because they were bought legally first and then traded off to people that got them illegally afterwards. But that's not what I'm asking you. Yeah. What I'm asking you is why but, are you but, so but, confident but, that Trump's but, bump stock ban was bad when you're not the president? Maybe he has no, access no, to intel that you, you don't. I don't. 
I'm telling you, I don't like that decision. He didn't lose my vote for that decision. I'm telling you something I didn't like. I don't mm-hmm. like his stance on same sex marriage. Okay. You said that. You said that I'm scared to criticize Trump, which I do. I do that on a, when, if he says something I don't like. I'm mm-hmm. one of the first people to say I don't like it. Why do you think the Chinese travel ban was good if you don't have information to the access to the information Trump does? How do you know anything was good? I'm telling you what he did. If yep. you claim that he didn't do anything. I I'm claiming he didn't good. do enough, but how do you know the Chinese travel ban was good? Maybe it should have been I earlier. Maybe it shouldn't have happened at all. I, I never said it was good or bad. I'm telling you what he did if you say that he did nothing. That's a response to you saying he did nothing. I didn't I'm say he did nothing. I said he didn't do enough. That the United States lagged behind other countries and did a really you horrible job. You literally for said this. for two months we didn't do nothing. And I said we had travel bans. And then you said, I said one travel ban. No. And then I said, I the said travel ban. Between and the said, Chinese. Okay, the I said between the Chinese and the European travel ban, we did nothing. You haven't responded to that claim at all. You just left you that one hanging. You didn't say the European one. I you did asked... multiple times. I'll oh ask you one more time. God, I'll ask bro, you one more time. I said between the China. We had a whole argument about the. We had a whole I literally said this. I said said this multiple times. I'll repeat you it one say, more time for you. You said you don't know if it happened. You I don't said, know if it happened right then and there. Come on. I said between the Chinese and the European travel ban, what did we do? Stop. I asked you that multiple Stop. times. That was a huge deal because we did nothing. We sat on our ass and did nothing. Stop, you didn't bro. have an answer for that. You still don't. And you're scared Stop. of answering no, that question. I answered you know. the question with the Europe travel ban. And then you said that wasn't right then and there. And then I said, but you were given a time span of two months. You said you don't even know if the Europe travel ban was, was within the two months. That's verbatim what happened. You're making I stuff asked up now. You, why did we do nothing between the <laughs> Chinese and European travel ban? And you said because we don't have all the information. I the government you did. didn't say Chinese Europe. Tra- okay, travel, well, fine. Then, I, let, then let's then let's both pretend that I'm asking for the first time now. Why did we do nothing between the Chinese and the European travel ban? I think the travel bans are something. I'm not asking us to do something. Why are you so content with America being so mediocre? No, do you think this you country that make... shouldn't rise no, to the call? You're you're <laughs> asking questions. You're asking questions. Yeah. And then getting mad at your questions. You I'm said, mad because it, you are too scared finish. to answer. Let me finish. Yeah. Nobody's scared. Nobody's scared to answer. You are. Look at you answering. You said other than the things they did do, why didn't we do nothing? I'm asking you. To, you let me between... finish. But you have to say nothing after you say what we did. <laughs> How can you say that? We did something. You don't think we did enough. Fine. I'm good asking. Criti- good criticism. Between the European and the Chinese travel ban, which I believe was over a month, why did we do nothing to prepare? Nothing like what? What does that mean? Like getting, well, you already asked me this, but I'll repeat my answer because we've already gone over this. I said we could have prepared more personal protective equipment. We could have prepared more ventilators, or we could have started to do more aggressive, like contact tracing or quarantining or self, um, contact the, tracing. Okay. the social no. distancing. Yeah. Like figuring out like, where's an infection? Where's it spreading? Can we quarantine yeah. these people or whatever? Yeah. You, you think, okay. I, that's a different conversation, but I already responded to the, um, <clears throat> Yeah, so I'm curious. So why did we do I nothing responded, between I, the Chinese I, I, I and the responded, European travel ban? Or can you tell me I, what do you think we did between the Chinese and European travel ban? What do you think? I already we did? responded. I already, I already responded to the ventilators things. My question is, what the, what could the states have done? That that's my question. What what so could the you're, states you're have dodging done the question sooner? again? Just being clear about that. I'm not dodging. You are. You're asking a fake question. You telling me what they did in between? Only mm-hmm. so you can try to ask a question about something else they did while while insinuating that they did nothing. But in your question, you're already admitting they did something that's a fake question you only now you're only trying to ask a question to push your agenda in this conversation because you have no other points to prove in that aspect what do you know when america did the china travel ban uh january it was late january correct okay and when did we do the european travel ban Uh, let me let me just google it so i can say it correctly Mm -mm -mm. looks like it was in mid-march so what did we do from late January to mid March? It's over yeah, a month's worth of time. Trump suspends this. This article is March twelfth, <clears throat> which means it was probably around that time, March twelfth, March eleventh, something like that. And you want to know what we did between the travel ban <clears throat> and? The um between the two travel bands. You wanna know what we did in between the two travel bands? Well yeah. let's not guess. Let's just look it up. Sure. And before we look th- before I look up, are you saying nothing happened? Like literally nothing? Do you if we did anything it was n- n- amount to nothing, ta- paramount ta- okay. to nothing. Yeah. See, I don't see when you say something like that, it makes me not even want to look it up no more. Well, if we did do something, mm-hmm. it was really nothing. Like what I mean, is- we didn't have testing real. ready. Did we have testing ready? When did America That's start? When did America start real. mass testing for? No, for... I'm talking about before you said that. I said, are you implying that we didn't do anything? Mm-hmm. And you said we didn't do nothing. And if we did do something, it amounted to nothing. You already giving yourself an out 
when I answer. Okay, well, why don't you, you answer me? What did, what did we do? I, I'm about to look it up, but it's like you always you making me not want to look it up because now I already know you, you you're gonna give yourself an out. It's so it's it's weird actually. It's not weird. I'm but. just curious what we started doing. We didn't do any social distancing. We didn't have tests prepared. We weren't preparing they, hospitals when, with personal protective equipment or ventilators. Seems like we didn't do anything. So I'm, when did they start recommending? Um, when did they start recommending? Uh, social distance, like 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 people gather more than ten people and stuff like that. When do, when do they start recommending that? Mm. Uh, I don't remember exactly. I don't know. I think like late March, January eleventh. The CDC updated a level one travel health notice to Wuhan, China. January 17th, the CDC began implementing public health entry screening. On what January date was that? January 17th. Okay, so they didn't really do that that much, but okay. <laughs> January 20th, Dr. Fauci announced the development of a vaccine. I don't care about that. I'm not taking a vaccine. Doesn't matter. Special emergency. Um, do you wear a mask when you out? I just want to know, genuinely. Yeah. No. Um, January 27th, Donald Trump made an offer to President Xi, how do you pronounce that, to send experts to China to help investigate the outbreak. January 27th, the CDC issued a level three travel health notice urging Americans to avoid all non-essential travel <clears throat> to China. Okay. January 27th, the coronavirus task force started. Mm -hmm. And that's the same, you know. January 31st, he declared it a public health emergency. Yep. <clears throat> These are all things, sound like to me. But did nothing. Even the travel ban itself, 40,000 Americans came back from China after the travel ban with almost no screening. So, I mean. Okay, so it's something, but it's nothing. Like, I knew, like, I, even though I knew this was going to I mean, do you I think that's good that, like, he's like, oh, travel ban, and then 40,000 Americans come back from China with, like, pretty much no screening anyway? Do you think that's good? That's a good measure? That really helped us? <clears throat> I'm just, I'm just based on what off you said. I never said nothing was good or bad. I'm saying you said nothing happened, and then I told you what you was gonna say when I started reading it, and you're doing exactly what I predicted you to do. Well, first of all, you're but reading I'm things up reading, until though. yeah, because you're reading this up until January 31st. I asked you between January 31st no, and March going. 11th what we did. But, I'm, st yeah. I'm still going. Okay. I'm still going. Cool. Don't stress. Don't stress. Don't stress. Yeah. See, uh, February 2nd, the CDC expanded enhanced entry screening to eight major airports across the nation. February 4th, you know Trump talked about it in his State of the Union. We know that. When he said it wasn't going to be a real problem and it was all <clears> going to go away. Yeah. But he also said we're, we're going to take all necessary steps to prevent it. February 6th, the CDC began shipping CDC-developed test kits. Hmm, that's Feb that, that was February 6th. Yep, they were all botched and fucked up. We didn't get any real tests out of those because the first batch was completely ruined. Oh yeah, that's 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 definitely Trump fault. Um <clears throat> February 9th, he just talked to all the governors, which is, you know, he 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 gave messages to, you know, mm -hmm. updated the go governors on what's going on because you know it's the state's job to handle their state. Pandemics? Um, so that's the state's job now? No, no, I said to handle their state for things that they need, of course, like at, regarding hospitals and things of that nature. Okay. February 12th, the US ship test kits uh, for the 2019 novel coronavirus to approximately 30 countries who lack the necessary uh, materials. February 14th, the CDC began working with labs. Yeah, I don't, I don't really care about that personally. February 22nd, the WHO got involved, you know, with experts and everything. February 24th, the Trump administration sent a letter to Congress. Requesting at least 2.5 billion to help combat the spread of the coronavirus. I would look at that as something. At what date was that? That was the 24th. Okay, cool. So we got some money. Okay, we we doing stuff. We we doing stuff. That's all I'm saying. Okay, <laughs> we doing stuff. I mean, if you're uh, happy with the 14th place America, I, I mean, that's I, I not never, you. That's a, not what I grew again, up learning about. But I mean, like, if that's good again, enough for you guys, like, I can understand for Republicans, it's more about party than country. Or, like, I guess that's yeah, like the okay. thing for you guys. But, yeah. Um, All yeah. right. Yeah. Nobody is saying this. Have you noticed that you've had to pit things in my mouth or imply other things? I haven't done that to you not once yet. Um, Have you noticed that? 
Well, that's because that's you're like right. that's because you're too scared to take like a strong stance on anything. So I have to go. No, I'm I'm, I'm giving I'm giving you my genuine stances on things. Okay, sure. Without... Let's see if you're giving your genuine stance. Let me ask one more time. Look, Do you think that Trump know, did a good job handling the coronavirus? Going through this. Okay. Can we finish going the time? Then I then I will ask yeah. my question again. For Do the you think that time. Trump did a good job handling things? Yeah, sure. I will, I will answer that. Some of the other things I'm gonna answer it again. Mm -hmm. Even though I already answered it. So February 29th. Also, that proposed now, two billion that didn't par pass in Congress until like March fourth or whatever. So go ahead. I'm just saying, I'm just saying it, it was proposed. So I mean, Congress has to do. You know, the government works together. Of course, we sure. But that. earlier you said yeah. that I couldn't talk about Trump's proposed budget cuts to the CDC because they hadn't gone through. But now we can give him credit for a proposed two billion dollar stimulus that I, we'll go through until later. What, I, I mean, what is it? I didn't say you could. I didn't say you can't talk about. It. I'm the one who brought up his proposals to cut the CDC getting declined. I'm okay. the one brought that up. We've also skipped to like February 29th, it. so it seems like we've got like a whole month where we essentially did nothing except talk to random people. Essentially, so. yeah, yeah, great. Mm -hmm. yep. Um, February 29th announced a level uh, level four travel advisory barred all travel to Iran, barred the entry of foreign citizens who visited Iran the last 14 days, mm -hmm. and then March 3rd, the CDC lifted federal restrictions on coronavirus testing. Uh, to allow any American to be tested for coronavirus subject to doctor's orders. March 3rd, uh, okay, that's just Trump donating his salary like he does every month. Um, March 4th, uh, they announced the purchase of approximately 500 million N95 respirators over the next 18 months to respond to the outbreak. I mean, now we get into the time, that frame that you want. Yeah. How uh, cool would it say, have been if that would have happened in early February instead of early March? If that would have happened a month earlier, wouldn't that have been cool? Sounds like it would have, I'm guessing. Yeah. But you said they did nothing, and they obviously did multiple things, and you claim to be essentially nothing, but things have steps involved with them. I'm just saying to it, claim that they did nothing. Uh, it's, it's just, it's just, is it correct? It, that's what I'm saying. It, it seems like you're trying to push an agenda to say you dislike. I mean, it, it's like a, like I don't. Here's the thing: I watch a lot of your your debates, even including Nick Fuentes, J, uh, JLP. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have TDS, but right now you're literally just trying to blame things on Trump. And when I bring your friends with else, Nick Fuentes, the literal Nazi guy. Oh yeah, I mean, man, Nick Fuentes is cool. I'm cool with some black Hebrew Israelites too. <clears throat> oh damn. Did you have you talked to Nick Fuentes about what country he'd ship you off to if he was in charge of how the U.S. was ran? Or well, like, me and him talked about our, me and him talked about our disagreements. But see, there's a difference. The difference um, of opinion is shipping all black people out of the United States. That's just a difference of opinion to you. Did, did he say he would do that? Yeah, of course. No, I'm saying like, did he actually say that though? Um, they usually say like, well, we'd offer them money to leave first, and then if they don't, did he then even we say that? To... Yeah, yeah, he has. Mm -hmm. So he said that he will offer black people money to leave the United States. Yep, and then if they don't, then you have to take more strict measures later. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a damn him about that. If that's true, I'm gonna have to do that right now. Yeah. Hello, is he, do you have any proof of this? Um, the links are out there somewhere. I don't keep an archive of the dumb shit Nazis say, but yeah. Well, I mean, I, I watched a debate with him. I didn't hear that in the, in the debate. Yeah, of course, so he's usually like pretty good at like being kind of like cowardly, like you, and that he doesn't like own a position. He just kind of talks around it. Oh, ca cowardly! Because I'm giving you honest, you know, opinions based on. Well, sure. Know, now that we've gone through the timeline again, can you tell me if you feel? Oh, like, yeah. Do you, yeah. Can you tell me if you feel uh, like Trump did a good job handling the coronavirus stuff? Do you think he did? I it? feel like per the statistics, we did a decent job. Not the best job, which I've said this already. Okay. But per the numbers, yeah. we did a decent job. Okay. So when people say like one week of social distancing earlier, we waited until March to start that. Could have saved like over thirty thousand lives. Just the U.S. could have have no idea. The U.S. would have never known that it needed to socially distance, even though like other countries around the world were starting to have tons of people dying from this. There's no way yeah. the U.S. could have known. To be blatantly honest, mm -hmm. I think social distancing for the most part is. Can I cuss on here? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I think it's bullshit. Um, there's actually a lot of doctors who bullshit they actually say social di social distancing is one of the worst things we can do for the coronavirus and a lot of doctors actually say not all but a lot of doctors in th there's footage out there and there's reports out there they say that because we're social distancing when we when everything opened back up people will be going to the hospital for sicknesses that we should be used to but since we're not allow allowing our immune system to work like it's supposed to work then we are fucked i mean your immune <clears> system <throat> when you social distance is still working it's not like your immune system is just on break like your immune system is always working what do you mean but 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 of course you know there's a reason why like diseases that affect that affect like that that that's in other countries mm -hmm. can affect them a little bit but them same diseases will like just screw us over because of our 
we're cleaner. We're usually cleaner than a lot of these, you know, other countries that they're used to be, being in dirty environments. So our so we're not used to the same to the same things. I mean, th- yeah, but it's not like after two months of quarantine, we're gonna go to the dirtiest countries on the planet. It's not like there's no, no, a new no, no, super no. bacteria that's like running around outside now. Like our immune systems are gonna work just as well in two months as they would have two months prior. So, oh yeah, you can say that, but. I have dozens of doctors to say differently. I don't believe so. No, you don't believe dozens of doctors. I'm not a doctor. I'm not gonna make up nothing about social distancing. I don't know enough about it. I'm telling you what doctors literally say. Bro. Go on. Wait, you actually? Go on. Oh, I'm sorry. People are tweeting this. You even retweeted the video of Nick Fuentes talking about how a, a woman having sex with a black man is similar to having sex with a dog. <laughs> Yeah, that's what me and uh, Nick put there. We, we, here were the things talking about me and Nick. We were beefing. <laughs> yeah. We were beefing. Because Wait, I, I'm I, curious I, what he said to make you okay with that one. No, no. Let, let, me, let, me, let me get this story. So, so we were beefing. Uh-huh. And um, when I see things, I just, I just, I, it's natural for me to call people out. It's just what I do. Sure. So I saw that and, you know, and, and, and called him out on it. And then he blocked me because mm-hmm. I posted a video, you know, and mm-hmm. I said, I mean, this is just, this is just what it is, you know. Mm-hmm. Then uh, I saw him at the Trump Hotel while at an event, and I, I was sort of, I was sort of just, you know, sort of trolling him, you know, in real life, like, mm-hmm. yo, like, you have me blocked. So then he unblocked me. We followed each other. We had a discussion. It wasn't really a, a debate. It was I mean, we, we discussed our disagreements while we was playing Fortnite together, and um, we disagree on some things. I, I don't like how the, that movement is too hyper focused on race uh, per se, because I think. I mean, I mean, in my opinion, if you believe in God and believe we all came from Adam and Eve, then you focusing on races to me is just insane. Uh, but as far as his faith and him being willing to stand up for his faith and call out certain things socially regarding a faith, I think that really made us like cool because we agree. We agree on more than we disagree on. The only thing we really disagree on is the stuff about race, which is the same thing as I disagree with Black Hebrew Israelites on, and Black Hebrew Israelites literally want they want to, you know, exterminate. So as long as the person's religious, you're cool with them thinking that fucking a dog is the same as fucking a black person. That's cool with you. No, I, uh, to me that was still a disrespectful joke if that's what it was. But it's cool because um, you're both religious, right? It's okay. No, I never said that was cool though. But you're cool with him. I called out Goyp- I called out the Goypers a few weeks ago for posting racist stuff, and you know. You, I, but you, I, I, and you're cool with him, like thinking that fucking black people are like fucking dogs. So you said you're cool with him, right? You're cool. It's just like I'm cool a with small... him. I, I'm not cool with that statement, though. Okay, but you're cool with a guy that thinks that fucking black people is like fucking dogs. No, I'm I'm cool with Nick Fuentes. Who is a guy that said agree. that fucking black people is like fucking dogs? You're cool with him, even if you he disagree said they're with both. That he said they're both generic. I, I I don't I disagree with, him, but. So one thing make me not like somebody, because mm-hmm. so, you, because you, you said yes. You said I, I was. You said one thing that makes me not dislike or makes me dislike. No, no. I, I, I said so. One thing make me not like some. Oh, I mean, if comparing somebody fucking you to is the same as somebody fucking a dog, yeah, I probably wouldn't like that person. Should I not That's be friends with gay people then? Because I think I think I think homosexuality is disgusting. So should I not be cool with them then? If if, if I really dislike what they their lifestyle, should I not be cool with gay people? I, I have mean, gay friends. Do you think they're all gonna should, like? Should, should, do you think they're all gonna go to hell or some shit? You said what? Do you think they should all like go to hell or some shit? I don't think they should do anything according to biblical text uh-huh. if they continue being gay without. Wanting to change, but it's not mm-hmm. them. It's adulterers. It's homosexuals. It's uh, 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 idolaters. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I mean, there's a list of people that won't inherit the kingdom of God if they continue. But the good thing is, such were some of you, and such were me at some point. Not the gay part, but mm-hmm. I used to have sex before marriage. I used to be a drunkard. Yeah, um, then I'd say you shouldn't be friends with them, probably, if you had any backbone at all. But you're probably too scared. I shouldn't be friends with gay people because I disagree with part of their lifestyle? So when you say disagree with a part of the lifestyle, what you really mean to say is you think that they're condemned to hell because they're sinners, is what you mean to say. But yeah, I, I think, think that you shouldn't probably be I friends with they, people like that. Yeah, I would say so. I think I think if they don't change, mm-hmm. they, will be, they won't inherit How long does a gay God. person have to change? But, you think a gay guy that's 45 years old is going to change? Gonna become straight. You never, you never know when somebody. I have gay people that uh, that message me all the time saying they're refraining from sexual activity, period, for the rest of their life because they know what they're doing is wrong and they want to get to heaven. So you can't just write off people because of certain things you disagree with. I'm not gonna just write off Nick Fuentes, and I'm a TPUSA ambassador. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I, of course, I love TPUSA. I love Charlie Kirk. I don't care what anybody says. I think TPUSA has done a great job reaching the youth, and I still think that. Um, 
That's why that's why I love him to death. And Nick Fuentes hates TVUSA, and TVUSA does not like Nick Fuentes. Sure. And, I mean, I guess if you can be friends with a guy that thinks that you're the fucking you is like fucking a dog, then I guess, yeah, you can be friends with gay people too. I guess it works for you. You want to be friends with everybody because you don't have like a real position on anything, but sure. I don't have a real position on it. Yeah. This is, oh, dang, I feel bad, actually. Me too. I feel bad for all the gay friends you have. Holy shit. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I find this very interesting. Yeah, so it seems like you don't like Nick. <laughs> okay. Man. Yeah, I tend to not like people that are ultra bigoted and want to ex like community like like execute like large portions of the population. Yeah, I think that's kind of well. Bad. But but what you said, mm -hmm. you can't. You have no proof that he said the first thing, and that's why you had to pretty much backtrack from what you said because you have a habit of putting words in people's mouths. No, I know that he's a pretty avowed white nationalist. I know that he wants to export all like people from the country that don't look a certain way. He wants to cut off like certain brown or black immigrants from coming here. Um, he thinks that white people are genetically superior to black people. Um, he thinks that the Holocaust didn't really happen the way that people say it did. Like I know all of these things about him. Yeah. Well, sure. some of them things uh, mm -hmm. me and him talked about in. You know, him and his uh, followers got mad at me. Mm -hmm. Types of women, all types of women. I don't really care about the color. They started calling me a race mixer. And we and that that's where we got into the real disagreeing thing. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. He we, thinks that um, interracial relationships are immoral. Yikes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Even though the Bible doesn't point to that once. Mm -hmm. Which is what we, well, that, these are things that me and him talked about that we disagree. But see, I could disagree and still not think that person is a terrible person. If I think somebody is a terrible person. Mm -hmm. then I will let you know. But he says these things. He says his beliefs publicly. That's why when you try to add words to his mouth just now, mm -hmm. it's sort of odd to me that you did that because he has enough controversial things that he says publicly for you not to have to add words to him. Yes, he thinks that uh, race missing is immoral. So you can literally just say that and say he said that, and yes, it's something he said. When you start saying he wants to ship off everybody, and then you claim, well, I don't know if he said that. Why do you continue say it, pit, trying to put words in people's mouths? So I'm curious, what position could somebody have that would make you not want to be friends with them? What would somebody have to think if Nazis or whatever aren't enough? I'm curious. Well, I don't know. I'm down to talk. I'm really down to chop it up with anybody. I'm down to have a civil conversation with anybody. So do you think there's I, anybody that I, you should I, tell people, like, you should probably stay away from these types of people? Or you think you should just be cool with everybody? That everybody's like a cool person? I mean, if somebody is a rapist, then I, I wouldn't be around them. But humans are interesting, and the problem in the and the problem in the world is people lack the willingness to have conversations. If Hitler was alive, I, w I would have a conversation with him. Would you be chill with Hitler? Be like, yeah, he's my bro. Like, yeah, we disagree over the Jewish <laughs> thing and the Slavic thing and whatever. But like for the most part, like we're chill. Would you say that? If he if he told me that he plans to murder people, I'm like, yeah, I can't ride with you on that one, big dog. I don't think Hitler ever like, murdered anyone, did he? You said, well, he sent people, he ordered people to. Yeah, but he didn't do know? it himself. Don't put words in his mouth. You don't have to say things for him that didn't happen, right? Well, I, but I also just said, yeah, he ordered people to see the difference, sure. you know? I mean, yeah, and okay. there are white nationalists uh, that inspire people to go on, like, shooting sprees and shit that, like, repeat their same record. No, 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 he ordered. It wasn't no inspire, he ordered. Oh, okay, so that's you the see, line for you? And yeah. you, was, you was just about to try to equate inspire to ordered, and I'm glad I just caught that instantly because I knew I, I had a feeling you was going to try to go that You don't route. think it's comparable? You don't think when a mass shooter goes out and kills a bunch of people and is, like, literally quoting words from other white nationalists, you don't think you should be worried about that? What? You can't... Hold on. You think other people should be responsible unless ordered, like, a call to action, literally... Unless it's that you think you don't think so when people rappers, like hello mm -hmm. so so rappers so rappers go to jail because of the gang violence hasn't that been like a big part of the black community is calling out rappers of like hey maybe you shouldn't do like gangster rap all the time maybe you shouldn't yes. talk about drugs you, and shit all the time like maybe yes this, you tell yeah. them that but, but but nobody has ever advocated that uh NBA young boy should go to jail because somebody was inspired by his song to go shoot up somebody block. No, maybe not go to jail for it, but that they're kind of responsible for it. Yeah, for like being per, per um, no, that kind of yeah, no, of because at the same time, humans need to be take responsibility for their own actions. But I will advocate that we need to change culture. We need to shift culture away from that. Just like all of these depressed songs about committing suicide and all these things. Of course, that would probably inspire somebody to commit suicide, but that but the person that's singing the song didn't shoot, pull the trigger. Sure, I'm not saying they did. I'm just saying that just yeah. like Hitler didn't pull the trigger, right? That like, but he ordered somebody. I didn't hear. I, I didn't hear little peep order somebody to commit suicide. He didn't say, "If you're my fan, fan, mm -hmm. go commit suicide." You so you think when you're saying shit like all immigrants are foreign invaders that are here to rape and murder our women, like that's not kind of like calling people to action a little bit? How is that calling people to action? How? I don't know. Just it's no. You don't know because you don't know because it isn't though. 
I, well, I don't know because the answer is incredibly obvious. But since you're too much of a partisan hack to see it, you're not going to admit it. But I'm yeah, a I mean, partisan okay. hack. Yeah, of course. I'm a partisan, if I got I'm on my partisan. stream and I started saying I'm like, I think all black people are invading our country. I think they're evil. And you know what, guys? Like, man, they're here to destroy us. And if you don't get them first, like, they're going to destroy us. Like, that's what their mission is. Yeah, that's a pretty blatant. Like, we should do something about it. Of course, any reasonable person would acknowledge that. But you don't want to because you don't want to hurt your friends' feelings. Hurt my friend's feelings. Yeah. I'm literally, I was literally blocked by Nick Fuentes before we were And now friends. you're not, right? You guys made up. You guys are best friends now. We right? had a conversation and we had an understanding. Mm -hmm. We still disagree on the topic of race. But you're and still we, cool. But, well, and when you say the, disagree on the topic of race, you mean disagreeing with the fact that he thinks that you're equivalent to like a dog if a white woman would have fuck you. It would be that disgusting. It'd be like bestiality. No, we disagree, yes. on, we, dis we disagree on race because he says things like, uh, IQ is, is is genetics and things of that nature, and, mm -hmm. and these things are uh, these things I simply disagree with. Well, disagree with, and I have actual feasible proof to disagree with these things. Mm -hmm. But I but I also disagree with Trump on same sex marriage. And I disagree with Trump on bump stocks, and I also disagree. I, I disagree with a lot of people on a lot of things. Let me tell you something that's going really that's going really like you know me and these actual white supremacists, right? We had a debate one day, and we and we we sent threats, physical threats towards each other. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, and 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 we we knew that wasn't a civil conversation because my point for talking to these people was trying to understand. You know, we don't have to be friends, but to understand people because that's what that's what real people do. You try to understand people that yeah. you're talking to, other Nazis and, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And we actually had a, a, a more civil conversation next time. Not be in it because me and him was going to argue again and start threatening each other. And then we had a civil conversation about the beliefs and differences. And you know, one time after that, it was a civil conversation and we disagreed on literally everything. They like Bernie Sanders. I like Trump. They <laughs> they think every race should be separate. I think we should all just live with each other. And if and if you want to live separate, go live somewhere separate by yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, which I'm sure some of you you you'll agree with me on that. Um and you know things of that nature. But you know one time they called me. They called me because they was drunk and they said I'm the only person that's like willing to have a conversation with them. And I respect so like I respect people who say things. And then stand on them. Don't backtrack. Don't change. Me too. Don't assume. Yeah. Yeah. No, but but you don't because every time you talk, you like to add to what people are saying. You add words to a mouth because you can't. Well, because what I'm trying to do somebody. is because like you'll take like three steps in a certain direction, but you're too scared to open the door and and, and actually own what you're saying. So I like no, to just like correct. walk you to it and I, see if I own it. I always so, for own instance, what I'm when saying, I ask though. you like, do you think Trump did a good job? And your response is, oh well, I don't. You know, I think we did some things, and I we don't know all the no, information. No, that's not what I said though. Here we go. Here we go again. That's not oh, what okay, I said. Oh, okay, wait. Yeah, so they are. You got a yeah. chance. To, wait. Okay, so you have a chance to totally blow me the fuck out of the water. Okay, you're gonna make me look so bad right now. I'm gonna ask you. Okay, how do you think Trump did overall in responding to the coronavirus? Just give me a straightforward I've answer. Six times yeah. Now. Okay. Yeah. Give me an answer. That make me look really Statistically, bad. Statistically, we did a decent job. That's just really what it is. I've answered that six times the exact same way, though. Okay. So you think that being 14th in the world in testing is America doing a decent job? Yeah. Yes. Compared okay, to the cool. other countries, that, that thank is you. a decent job. That's all I definition. wanted to know. Thank you, Jesus. But I, I, okay. I already that's said great. it six times. Thank you. I said it six times. Oh, that's all I needed. That's all I needed. No, because you that kept saying it. That isn't all you needed because I already answered it six no, times. Because all I've heard now is a Republican is telling me that America, the richest country on the planet that used to have the most sophisticated scientific research and development and medicine in the world, is doing an okay job being in 14th place. I don't want an America that's content of being 14th in the world. But statistically compared to other countries, that is a decent job, though, by the definition of decent. Imagine coming out of World War II or being like a Reagan Republican and saying, yeah, America America should do decent. Has that always been what America's aimed for? Like, should we give up our position at NATO or our position at the UN for other countries? to be decent? That's Can what you, you just said. You said that's you decent. You said no, it's no, decent. I didn't. No, I didn't. You cannot help yourself because you don't want to accept help the yourself fact with being decent? situations. <laughs> No, 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 you, you can't. You have to add to what I'm saying because you can't do anything else. You literally can't. It's not in you because you, you, you have something in your mind okay. and you so hard headed that you want to continue doing it even though I'm giving you. I, okay, you like, know you what? Just, you're right. Hold you on. Just, no, no, you're right. You're right. I'm, I'm putting words in my mouth. So let me just ask you questions, okay? Yes. Do you think that oh, under correct. different leadership, America could have done better than 14th place in testing? I don't know. You don't know. So you think that it's no. possible that 14th place is actually the best America could have been? Is 14th no. place? No. Oh, okay. So then do you think that in a different leadership, we could have done better? No, I don't know. You understand the contradiction that you're giving me? You're not answering I, I, both I of these I questions. I don't know to every question. No. All I'm asking you is if under different leadership, conceivably, could we have done better? Or do yeah, you I think the 14th? So you think that 14th place in, in America, in the world testing, 14th place, is, that might be the best we could have done, you think? No, we don't know. Neither do you, though. I'm asking you. Right? I know. I always think that America could aspire to be better, that America can do better than everybody else. No, no, else. no. You said no. under different leadership. 
Yeah, under like different another, leadership. I think we could have done person, better. Yeah. Like you you you're saying you think if another person was president, yep. they would do better. That's what you're saying. It could be, yeah, I think so. I think we could have done you, better than fourteenth place, yeah. But like, that's your question. Yeah. Nah, it's not a question because we already know the answer. Mm -hmm. That's based on nothing but your opinion, correct? My opinion is that America can do better than 14th place. Correct. That's right. It's just based, my no, opinion. Based, yep. No, stop trying to tell what you said. Based on your opinion, yep. you think another president could have did a better job with the coronavirus. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. But the real answer to that, mm -hmm. the facts to it, not your opinion, the fact to it is you don't know. That's a fact. I, right? I wouldn't be happy to think that 14th place is the best America could do. No, no, no. But it's a fact mm -hmm. you don't know, though, right? Well, I mean, technically, nobody knows the future. Right? Hey, there we go. Thanks. So, you know, and here's my thing, because, cause, like, I, I'm trying to keep things within a statistical place or a, a factual place mm -hmm. rather than all these uh Sure. The factual things. place is we are the 11th when it comes to cases per capita, and we haven't tested even remotely everybody that's been infected. We're 12th when it comes to worst deaths per capita, right? Like, I think that, like, it's pretty sad that America sits there. I think that we could have well, done better. But if you think as a Republican that, like, 10th or 15th place is about where we belong, I don't know. Maybe that's the America that you guys want. You want a middle-of-the-road America that's, like, every other, other country. Mm -hmm. Compared to the statistics and compared yeah. to the numbers, the mm -hmm. other countries, that is decent yeah not great that's cool I that's decent that's great that's, that's not cool. great you want a decent in america it wasn't great though i said sure. it was decent the whole time mm -hmm. i never said it was great I yep. said, in the beginning i said it's not great based on statistics but it is decent cool and that's simply like that's a fact though yeah based then america did like decent. maybe decently yeah remember trump's slogan yeah. when he was running make america decent again i remember that yeah that's i wonder if that'll be his updated campaign slogan for 2020 are you taking the coronavirus situation and try to make that the whole campaign? Is that, it is, will is be. This, a, oh, his oh, campaign oh, will be a referendum on how he's dealt with the coronavirus, of course. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, is the United States of America based on coronavirus only? No, but that's going to be the calling card for oh. this campaign. Kind of like okay. how with Obama yeah. it was the Iraq war. Kind of like how with Trump it was the housing crisis. Yeah, of course. We tend to hyper-focus on particular events near election <clears throat> season. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I can almost guarantee you that the coronavirus is going to make or break Trump. Now, if we would if if have probably been last place in everything, mm -hmm a real shit show then i mean possibly but i mean just based on the pure numbers this is not going to be this is not going to be a, a big deal which is why democrats stop focusing on it um especially when you have people like dr fauci who's the one advising him you have the uh the mm -hmm. who advising him you have the cdc advising him mm -hmm. these are the same people that you tried to bring up earlier and yeah but trump clearly doesn't take their advice trump is literally on no, news no. saying he takes fake medicine to make himself feel better even though there's no what's, evidence what's, of hold on, what's yeah. fake medicine trump talking about how he takes hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin to make himself feel better when one he probably doesn't and two there's not even proof that these drugs work and now people are like having shortages of them they can't get this when they have fucking lupus has that, has that has that has that drug worked on anybody no. any human no there were, actually, there were two, I think there was one very recent yeah. huge study that was posted in The Lancet with over 86,000 patients that they did a, um, an analysis on, and it actually was either equal or worse results. Yeah, there's no evidence of that drug being yeah. effective in treating patients. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, I'm, matter of fact, before I say any comment on that and assume, I'm going to just, because uh -huh. I, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that is inaccurate, and I will send you, you know, something afterwards, but currently I'm not going to really speak on yeah, it. Yeah, that's fine. I, I did a ton know. of research on it, because a lot of Republicans like to pretend that it works, but it doesn't. Um, I mean, you can go and look up all you want on it. I've already, like, done all of this research, but you can go do it yourself, sure. Look at, keep an eye on the most recent Lancet study that went over it, or go look at South Korea that completely abandoned it, um, or look at the fact that the only people that push it, um, like Faul or, or Raul in uh, France or whatever, are people that have never even done real studies on it. I mean, you, you can go look at all the information you want for it, but sure. I'm sorry, but you have a habit of saying things that didn't happen, and you try to change something. Like something, mm -hmm. something will be said, and you'll try to change it. And sure. uh, yeah, go do your own research on it. Then sure, so don't trust to, me. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It, no disrespect, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, know. Yeah. I feel the same yeah. way. Don't worry. Yeah, it's, it's 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 cool. Even though I've been saying just act, you know, factual information the whole time, other than the part we both was wrong, and then we yep. both make well, America decent again. I remember, mm -hmm. yeah. No, no, nobody ever said that. It's, it's, yeah, I'm mad at dude. Phrases. Make America decent again. 14th place. That's what we should aim for in everything. Well, shouldn't that already been the slogan based on the math of the numbers in education, the math or the IQ? And, you know, some countries, we're not the best in those, though. No, we're not. We were a long time ago. We did really well in a lot of these things. A long time ago. Yeah, yeah we what were. What happened? And now we're not. Let me guess. You think Trump? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, nah, I know you don't think so, but I mean, I'm just going. Yeah, making but, uh, Betsy yeah. DeVos the head of the Department of Education is kind of a weird call, though. But oh yeah, hey, I was waiting on something now. But mm -hmm. uh, the reason I even brought that up is because I mean, we're not number one in everything. I mean, that's that's just what we're it is. not we number were one in anything. What are we number one in? 
What do you mean we're number one now? Well, we lead the world in, I think, incarcerated persons. We've got the highest, like, jail people per capita. Um, highest medical bankruptcies. We have the highest of that. Uh, highest military spending. We do that. Who has, um, highest who, school who, who, shootings. We do that. Um, per who capita. had the best economy in 2019? Um, was it, uh, is it Switzerland? or oh, Switzerland had the best economy in 2019? For GDP per GDP? capita? Oh, you just want yeah, to go by, oh, capita. just GDP? Just GDP, GDP, I think America is still ahead. Not for much longer, though. Yeah. Not when China yeah, yeah. passes us. Well, well, you say that, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure Trump traders are trying to get back on track with that after all of this. I'm sure we will remain number one. Uh, and wait, wait. So it. now per capita is bad. We're not going by per capita now? When we... No, I never said not. I, I'm saying yes, per capita. Yeah. You think the GDP is the highest per capita in the world? What do you mean? Do you think the United States is the highest GDP per capita no, in the world? No, we, we have the highest GDP, though. Yeah, but, but why do we care about that? I thought per capita was the important... We're like 13th when it comes to per capita. Not even close to number one there. Well, and when it comes to GDP, I was talking about... You know, oh, okay. So now the that's because we have 350 million people here. Of course we're going to have a high GDP. we got a huge population. Yeah, but when it comes to battling of, of the country, when it comes to battling in this, this aspect of what matters, right, as far as power, because it, it, right now, number one, GDP per capita is uh, Qatar. They're number one. Do you think they have any chance to compete with us in any aspect as far as money-wise or economy? Do you think that? Um, I mean, they're part of a coalition of Gulf states that seem to have a lot of influence over us, being like part of OPEC and shit, no? But 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 do you think Qatar or Mikhail, that's like, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. I'm sure I butchered that. Do you think Singapore, do you think any of these countries can single-handedly do anything to the United States because they have a higher GDP per capita? Single-handedly? No. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, I know that, though, which is why in this aspect, you just pretty much prove why GDP, the overall GDP, is, is, is what matters in this aspect, because it's about power. Of course, countries are battling to have the most power, oh. which is why China has Do you think China has the ability standard. to sink the United States right now if they wanted to? I think if a trade deal go wrong, I think both countries will sink. Uh, China, they do dick us on uh, our trade deals as far as the trade deficit uh, with them. Um, I mean... If, if, if the trade deal goes wrong between the United States and China, I think both the United States and China would be screwed, which is why China well, started getting on board when it came to the phase one and they were working on phase two, things of that nature, because they know if they don't get on board, then, I mean, United States and China could possibly both sink. You, you, do you agree with that? No, I think China will be okay. They've got a strong base in manufacturing you think China... and they've got uh, really good relationships with other countries around the world. I think China will be okay. Uh, where do you think most of their uh, 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 money come from when it comes to trade? Um, I believe we're the, we're our, the highest trading partner, unless you count the entire European yes. Union. I think that they count collectively as a bigger trading block than the U.S. Yes, that, that's why both of our stuff says uh, made in China. You think that? Yeah, but they don't it, buy shit in China. Said called made in the USA, right? That's the difference. Right? Yeah, that's the problem. That's yeah. what Trump's trying to fix. So we all agree that's bull. Yeah, Trump yeah, hasn't I'm fixed saying. that at all, though, huh? Well, no, I mean we, we started with phase one, and then yeah. we'll continue doing it. Wow, and we're no in phase other, one no, after him being president no, for three years. No, no other president was able to even get that far. That's yeah. a fact. Three so years, my, make yeah, America my, my decent question, again, right? Hold on, but, but my question is, <laughs> yeah. if they if China lost the United States, that, are you saying that wouldn't sink them at least temporarily? I don't care what your opinion is. Temporarily, no, it would definitely hurt sink. them temporarily for sure. But I mean, yeah, like okay, they would I'm, be okay. I'm, They'd okay. make it. They'd be fine. No, 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 no. You think they'll be? A, come on now. I, I'm just saying we gotta come on. Let's. Let's, I mean, we're going to talk about it. Let's be realistic about it. Per, per sure. Realistically, the United States' entire budget is basically floated on other countries, like using our currency as a global reserve currency. The fact that other countries invest in us. You think if China stopped doing that, you don't think that would have dramatic downstream impacts on the U.S.'s government, the U.S. government's but ability I'm, to fund its projects, like our I'm, military? I'm, I've already said mm -hmm. in the beginning that if a trade deal goes wrong between the United States and China, then countries will be screwed. I said that originally. I never said United States would be perfect, happy, go lucky. I'm just saying the reason why China is more willing to work with us now more than they have mm -hmm. from from my understanding ever, but I'm only 28, so I don't know how far I can go back. Mm -hmm. But uh, from my understanding ever, that's why they're willing to work with us because it's not even worth it. It's not even, you know, it's like a trade is worth it. And I don't think they will mind, like, you know, making uh, our trade deals a little a little better. Um, yeah, I guess we'll find out. And well, yeah, we will. Too, yeah. We will. I mean, we, we will. They, they, they could say... They could say screw us, you know. Well, you know, I mean, it's possible. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying to 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 say that it will only affect one, and you know, that's kind of crazy. Come on, that. But, but my whole point is that's why GDP per capita, when it comes to Qatar, uh, okay, and things of this nature, Singapore. That's why when it comes to this aspect, as far as power when in countries, this is why in this aspect, per capita is not what you should really care about.
do you at least understand why I said it? I have a pretty good understanding of why we use GDP or GDP per capita, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. All now, right, so... Um, yeah. All right. Matter, make America decent again. That's my big takeaway from this. <laughs> yeah, that because that because you create things in your head that you like, uh -huh. like. I think in your mind, if you review this without watching it, yeah. you probably think a whole bunch of things happened that never happened. Yeah, kind of um, like when you said I didn't explicitly state what did we do between the Chinese travel ban and the European travel ban several times when you pretended I didn't say that. No, no, no. You, the the first time you didn't mm -hmm. say the year, you said the China travel ban, and I brought up. Do you want me to give you a clip of me actually tonight? explicitly saying that? In the beginning, I'm, I'm gonna watch the full thing myself. And if you have a clip okay. of saying that the first time, mm -hmm. now I'm not saying you didn't say it the second time. The first time you brought it up, where me and you talked about it, you said was that in the first two months though. So you know, boom. And and if you can, and if you do find that the first time we had the conversation, mm -hmm. said something, I will gladly message you to say that you said it. Mm -hmm. But also to be honest, that's a side note, and 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 we can have that. This weekend contest, if you want, I don't really care. But regardless of the situation, they did something, and I read up a whole bunch of lists of things they did, and you said they amounted to nothing, and I knew you was gonna say that beforehand. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, sorry, I shouldn't have said nothing. I was being hyperbolic. They did do a couple of like pretty useless things. Yeah, yeah, useless. There. <laughs> hey, what I will say is you funny. <laughs> I just no. I think it's so interesting when I listen to Republicans talk about the America of old and how it was the greatest country we saved everybody in World War II, best military, first man on the moon, leaders in science, education, and nowadays it's like fourteenth, eh, you know, not great, not bad, it's okay, you know, we tried. But I've like, never said I didn't want to be first though. See, here we go. No, again. but you said you said that it was you said that you can't even imagine another leader making us better. You you were like, oh, I don't know if anyone. Where else did I say that? I said we don't know. <laughs> Like, do, you, do, you, do you see? Do you see how much of a weasel you're being right now? Like I didn't say I can't imagine. I said, well, I don't know. It's the same thing. You're because we don't know. That's a fact. That's yeah. not an opinion. Yeah. it's a fact. I, yeah, we don't so know. that's the difference in how much faith we have in America. You don't know if America could have done better than 14th. I know we could have. I don't even have to think <laughs> about it. I know the, the United fact. States could have been done. Could have done better than listen, 14th in the world in testing. Listen, Unbelievable listen. that you don't even know that. Listen, I huh? think we can do better. I think we can do better in math. Can we? Do, can we? Yeah, of course. 100 percent we could. Yeah, of course we could. Our education is in shambles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny how you try to turn this around on. You think America is it number one? Come on, I'm giving you the statistics, and I'm telling you based on the definitions of words like decent. I'm not asking you where we're at. I'm asking you where you think we could have been. And, I, and you said you don't know if we could have done we don't better. Know. That's a fact. I do. No, I, mean, I, know I know for a fact. Leader. I know for a fact America could no, have done no, better no, you don't. because I believe no, in this country. Yeah, of no. course. No, I no, know yeah. for a fact. Maybe you don't. You Maybe don't. you don't care about America you, as much as you do about you Republicans or Turning Point USA. But I know that America. I know. Know that quick. America hey, could have done better. Hey, can yeah? we stop that? I mean, I allowed it, like I was trying. To, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm not a. Republican. I'm a conservative. It's just simple, actually. Okay. Republican. I'm just a conservative. Okay. It's okay. To, it's okay to say it. It's uh, okay to be a Republican. It happens. I'm not. I. I, I mean, I'd rather vote red than than blue because sure. of. Re You're a Republican. Because of, yeah. Because, okay. No, I'm not because of religious reasons. But I won't vote for somebody. I don't mm -hmm. vote by party. You see what I'm saying? Okay. You only vote for conservatives, yeah. right? If you're a conservative uh -huh. and you're conservative socially, mainly, which Democrat, which Democrat conservatives do you support? Oh, uh, there's not many Democrat conservatives right now, and the ones that are sort uh -huh. of uh, conservatives, they pretty much switching to uh, become Republicans. Okay, so you're Republican. <laughs> It's okay to be a Republican. No. There's nothing wrong with that. It's fine. You can be a I, Republican. I, no, I, 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 I'm not. Republican. I align more Republicans than Democrats. I'm just, I just don't uh -huh. identify as Republican. It's just simple, actually. That's cool. Do you, you don't identify as a Republican. I'd say I'm probably a Democrat. Yeah. Hey, probably Democrat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Because, yeah, you know, I vote sense. for Democrats and I support the Democratic Party over the Republican one. Yeah. Kind of like how you vote for Republicans and support the Republican Party over the Democratic one. Yeah. Yeah, but there's a lot of Republicans I don't even like. There's a lot of see? Democrats I don't like. Doesn't make me not a Democrat. Do you identify as a Democrat? Is that, like, is that what you identify as? Yeah, I, mean, I guess, right? I vote for them down ballot and everything. Yeah, in elections. So you vote, you vote for them down ballot? Yeah, of course. See? Hey, okay. You you dedicated. All right. I guess you are a Democrat. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But um, I, I do have a question, though. What's wrong with saying the truth and we don't know? What's wrong with if, if it's something we don't know? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you shouldn't give your opinion on what you think could have done better. Or even, I'm not saying don't say what you would have did. I'm just saying 
What's wrong with saying we don't know if that's actually the fact of the matter? Because the problem is that in your mind, it's possible that America is as great and did as great a job as it ever could have with this, which means you have an incredibly pathetic view of what this country is capable of. That's the problem. No, but that's incorrect because if another president, let's say it was a Democrat, let's say if but she president, she won. And let's say we had another coronavirus situation. Mm -hmm. And let's say if the numbers were just much better. You know what I would say? I would say Hillary Clinton did a better job than Trump because it's that simple because you can't argue the you can't argue the facts. Wow. That's why I, I personally just don't see no point of going back and forth over opinions. We argue opinions all day. Who's your favorite musician? Who's mine? Okay. We go over that all day. But what was, what's, what's, what's basically it changes, but in the moment we can say where the U S ranks in these certain situations, we can say these things because it is statistically accurate. And the truth of the matter is we don't have no statistics to say what other president would did. So the correct answer is we don't know. Right. That's not what I'm asking you. You keep like, when I ask you, what could we do instead? And you're trying to cite me current statistics. What I'm asking you is, can we do better than what the current numbers say? That's the question. You seem incapable of dealing with that. You can't even conceive no, of that. Because this is, because this you is literally, No, no, you literally earlier said, I can't even imagine. I don't know. I can't know. That's what you're saying. You can't even imagine America doing I, better than I how said, I can't even imagine. Did I say yeah. that? Well, you said, I can't even know, which is knowing and but imagining. But then I say, okay, because uh, no, 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 no. Saying I can't even imagine somebody doing better is Oh, okay. Well, in that case, let me ask you that question. Could you imagine that maybe there could have been a more effective leader than Trump for the coronavirus issue? Could I imagine? I mean, yeah. I could imagine if somebody did better. I mean, it's possible. I'm oh, okay. Possible. So then you could imagine that there could be a more effective leader than Trump, that we could have done better as I'm, a country. I'm, 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 I'm saying, of course, it's possible. I can't say it's impossible for somebody to have oh, done better because we don't know. That's all I care about is that it's possible that America could have done a lot better for the coronavirus stuff. So when I go to vote on leadership, that's what I'm going to be thinking about. But who would, who would call that impossible? You can't say something like that is impossible. I would never say nothing like that is impossible because oh, we that's what it sounded like you were saying know. earlier that you couldn't know. It's like, oh, I can't no, know that. I said we don't know. That's okay. a fact. Sure. We don't know 100 percent, but we can imagine that. Yeah, of course we can do better. Yeah. No, 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 no. You said you think that it could happen. Not imagine. You said you think that another leader would Think and imagine better. are about the same thing. Oh, like, I, mean, I mean, if you say. Yeah, in if this context, so. it's about the same thing. If, if you say so, but, if but I were to ask, like, it. can you think of us going to a restaurant tomorrow? Like, can you imagine us going to a restaurant tomorrow? Like, yeah, that's a roughly the same thing. It's not dramatically Listen, different. All I said is, I literally gave you an example, and I said, and I quote, "Better job." For the I would simply say she would did a better job. We can't uh, do that though. We can't rerun job. history. That's not how we can never do that. So you would say you no, would no, admit no, it in a no, possibility no, 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 that I'm never exists. I said if another similar situation happened, and per the numbers, she did better, a situation that you could compare. Well, I mean, we can compare how Obama handled things like H1N1 or Ebola. We didn't have any massive outbreaks of that, did we? Did we have massive outbreaks at, all, at that? Not compared to the COVID-19 stuff, no. And not for the Ebola, see, of course. See, so. now you're saying not compared. So I'm going to be blatantly honest with you. I don't know all the statistics. I don't know everything. Okay. That. I know it happened during Obama. And, I mean, we could look that up about another time. But um, that was pretty bad. A lot of people got sick, didn't they? Sure. But not as many as are getting sick right now from COVID nineteen. But a lot of people died though, didn't they? Okay. No, I mean, an accident. A lot of people died, right? Yeah, they did. But we didn't have to go full social distancing. We didn't have to like destroy our economy for two months, and it wasn't as many that are dying from COVID nineteen right now. Are we the only country that got that outbreak? Of the H one N one? No, I think the entire world did. So it was another like uh, similar situation. Where, Where did we rank? Were we number one in everything during that time? Um, I don't remember where we ranked exactly. I'm comparing well, right really now. I'm comparing right now Obama to Trump. Also for the Ebola thing, that I was know, like for Ebola, literally like two people died. Like that was completely and totally yeah. contained. That's that's great. But I'm glad I, I, I find it funny that you have the H1N1 because I really statistics. Because if we weren't number one in anything, then I genuinely need you to say we could do better. I I genuinely would need you to say another leader could could do could could have did better with H1N1. Uh, as one z one, whatever it's about. Sure, it's possible. Uh, Looking back on what Obama did, maybe there were things he could have done better. But, but the thing is, is that I'm not a coward. Like I would admit that. I would say, like, yeah, Obama fucked <laughs> this up or that up. Like he could have done more here. I would admit that immediately. Sure. Whereas you're really scared to say, like, oh, maybe Trump should have done something more. Well, look, he, you know, he put made a funding proposal. You know, a month after the China travel ban. Uh, like I'm, I'm not no, too I scared just to read say. To you exactly what happened. Yeah, of course. But you're too scared because... to say that Trump could have taken more effective actions. No, or can, wait, can you say that? Wait, would you say that then? Would you say that Trump could listen, have been more effective here? He could have listened to advice what, better? He could have done better things? You already know my answer because he did listen to the advice, though. Exactly. You're too scared to say it. 
I'm not scared. I, you know what answer I'm gonna say. You're not gonna like it, but it's yeah, you're gonna say, well, it's the government. We can never know. Yeah. No, that's not. What, yeah, I was gonna say we don't know. Okay, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, of I, I, I was gonna say. Uh, yeah, of course, I understand. Because that's a that's a true that's a true answer. Because you think you you tell me what mm -hmm. you would have did, but you but won't you give me that same answer when it comes to like bump stock bans. You don't know if they might have information that terrorist groups are planning to use bump stocks to do mass shootings in the U.S. You don't know that. Well, I mean, didn't they? Didn't, wasn't that right after a mass shooting? Okay. Honestly, I don't care what would have happened. I was against banning, uh, banning bump stocks. There's no point to ban bump stocks, in my opinion. I mean, they give you the ability to fire like a semi-automatic gun in a fully automatic fashion, right? Is that going to stop people uh, from committing crimes? Or no, but it gives you the weapon? ability to shoot more weapon? bullets into more people if you were set no, no, up no. for it. But I'm, I can tell you, listen, I'm telling you for a fact, right now, people are still getting bump stocks. Matter of fact, somebody asked me, did I want one? Mm -hmm. And I can tell you for a fact that there are less bump stocks now than there would have been otherwise. No, no, no. But what I'm telling you is it's not stopping people from committing. No, it's not supposed not to stop it. Crimes. It's supposed to curb it. It's supposed to make it harder. It didn't even cur It did. No, what, you're trying to stop legal people, mm -hmm. legal citizens. Because let's be per statistics. I'm going to ask you this before I make a statement. First, the statistics. Is it true? That law abiding gun on law abiding gun owners commit less crime than people that uh the, the criminals, than people than people that illegally have guns. Do law abiding people commit less crimes than <laughs> illegal people, than people that aren't law abiding? Well I would say tautologically speaking, yeah, that seems to be the case. If you're yes. law abiding, you don't commit crimes. Yeah, of course. Yes. Now in in, in, in all these gang shootings, uh, -huh. uh do you think these guns are legal guns or illegal guns? Um, generally they're acquired illegally. Yep, they're acquired illegally. That is accurate. So why Where do you think they you... come from initially? You say what? Where do you think the illegal guns come from? I mean, people steal guns and do gun heists. And you think the majority the gun of guns that are used by gang shooters are they break into gun stores and they just steal I, the whole I, I stock? I don't know. I don't know what the product of them getting them. Oh, I'm okay, sure they, I know. It's I'm about sure fifty percent of them are acquired legally and then handed off illegally. That's the numbers that's, out of Chicago. Yeah. That's possible. People are acquiring them illegally. Yeah. So my question is very simple. Matter of yeah. fact, I know gun sellers. Yeah. So my le illegal gun sellers. Well, I'm a law-abiding citizen and I don't have mm -hmm. a felony, so I can get guns. So my question to you is simple. Yeah. Why punish law-abiding citizens for something that's not going to... There's no law you can make that will stop somebody that want to break the law from breaking it. But there's there is. no law. Yeah, of course. When you make some things legal, people do less of it. Of course, that's true. Not everybody, but that's not the goal of the law is to make it so nobody does a particular thing. So less people do it. Yeah. There's no... No. You, these gang shootings have not went down... From any gun law. <laughs> do you think that do you think that every single law that's passed in the United States is followed by every single person? Hey, how many no, I, I, that's my point. So why how, pass how many any law, law? How many gun yeah. laws are there are there, you think? Probably a fuck ton across tons of states and federally as well. Yeah, a fuck ton. Mm -hmm. Now now some there's certain certain states you can point to. Yeah. Uh like New York and say that uh that uh that uh they gotten so strict to the point to where the crime went down compared to other places. Uh, but also people it's so hard to even legally own a gun in New York in the first place. That is crazy. Same thing with California. My question is, even in Chicago, you know, gun laws strict in Chicago. Yeah. What about it? Or in a place like this. What did it did it help? It didn't help at all. Actually, the, the well, of course not, because for Chicago, work. you bring in like a ton of guns from like legal places, like a few cities away. It's the whole point of like that's how guns get into Chicago. So they buy them legally outside, and then they bring them into Chicago otherwise. So you think it's uh, people are gonna get illegal guns at this point? Regardless, there's no way to reverse. It's just, it's, it's when you impossible when you when point. you make something illegal, you make it a little bit harder to do. That's the point of making it illegal. I can go on the dark web and buy a gun right now. That's great. I can go on the dark web and buy drugs right now. I don't think my grandma yeah, could. Is, I don't think my dad could. I don't think he would know how to do it. That's the whole point. The point is to limit how many people can do it, not make it oh impossible. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. So my question, do you think that it's okay to take away freedoms from other people in, 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 as a result of people committing crimes? Yeah, of course. Yeah, That's of why course. we have things like speed limits. That's why we have things like drug laws. That's why we have yeah, things uh, like, uh, like yeah, of course. tax fraud, like like laws against tax fraud. Yeah, of course. You make some things illegal. You make everybody do something because there are some people that fuck it up for everybody that do things illegal. And you illegal. think yeah. there's that with guns? Yeah, of course. There are people I'm that kill people with guns. At, yeah. at, this, at this point, I'm actually interested. I don't have that much time, but I just want to know your view on guns because it seems very far left. Do you think we should ban guns? No, of course not. But there are a collection of things that almost every American agrees that we should do. Banning, what? like, I'll say, I'll, yeah, I'll sure, like private seller to private seller transactions that aren't recorded, like, at all or reported anywhere are probably stupid. Um, updating the... Um, 
uh, the, um, oh God, the agency that keeps track of all the fire, the FTA, is it Firearms, Tobacco, Alcohol, um, updating their system so we actually can have a real database of weapons that we can pull information from for tracking guns for crimes would be good. Um, oh, stop, 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 real, real quick. You, yeah. Cause I, I, I just want to be clear about what you just said. I don't want to misquote you. Yep. Are you implying that anybody that has a gun, the government should know about it? Yeah, we could register them federally. Sure. Oh, hell no. You want a database to tell? To, to, I mean, they are, that's, you know that they already do, right? They already report it. I mean, they, they do to a certain point, but I can guarantee you right now. That you can guarantee me right now what? That I got guns that the government don't know about. Because you bought them from private sellers. Yes, sir. I love America so much. And you trying to take that freedom away from me. You want the government to be able to track everything we do. You don't think that's crazy or, or slippery well, slope? So, like... Do you think that felons should be able to buy guns? I think that once you leave uh, mm -hmm. prison, unless you was in there for murder. Sure. Do you think murderers your... should be able to buy guns? I, I, no, no, not, not okay. murder. Okay, well, they can from a private seller, so. Yeah, well, actually, if a felon gets caught with a gun, especially in North Carolina. Um, yeah. Gets caught with you, one, what, after you, he's killed somebody yeah. with it? You, you, you go, what you, I'm, you, yeah, you what I'm asking you is, do you think a murderer should be able to buy a firearm without having to fill out a Form 4473 or whatever? Do you think they should be able to buy that firearm from a private seller without ever having to fill but out it's that? It's already illegal for them to have guns, though. Doesn't matter. They, the private it's seller illegal. never it's, has to tell anybody. The private seller can sell the weapon and say, fuck no, it. No, they no, don't no. have to account you, for you're it. You're right that that's, po that, that's mm -hmm. possible. But if somebody is illegally to get caught with a gun, there's already a law that says... The private seller, could, if the private seller get called, the private seller could also uh, get in trouble from that. Private sellers get messed up all the time for things of that nature for purposes guess who, selling. Guess who guns. doesn't get in trouble? Guess who doesn't sell firearms <clears throat> to people with felonies? Actual who? gun stores don't get in trouble for selling firearms felonies because they don't do it. Because you have to fill out that the firearms transaction record. You've got to fill out a form. If you've ever bought a gun at a gun store before, I bought two, right? You go and you fill out the little fucking form and they file your information and the ATF yes, gets it and they I, put it in I a know, box somewhere. I know, yeah. I know. So I couldn't I, get one I, if I was felon. But. I could go buy one at a private seller, and no one will ever know anything else. You think that's okay? You think it's cool that like felons yes. or murderers can buy? Yes. Okay, cool. So you're no, okay no, no. with not that? Not that felon because it's already illegal for a murderer to have well, uh, a murder. Uh, somebody with a it's all or nothing. Gun, it's you can't have it both ways. My question is: Is yes, are you, you okay? Can. No, you can't. Nothing is perfect. This right is, now, nothing. a murderer can go and buy a gun no, no. and be totally cool this with it because there's no record no, no, of private. No. Yeah, it's a simple. Murderer I agree. Is, mm -hmm. Cannot legally have a gun. A felon cannot legally have a gun. So you're you're trying to create a point from nothing that's already illegal. You're trying to use that to support stopping. Are you required sales. My, as a private let me seller? Let me, okay, yeah. Let me, fi let, me fi let me finish real quick. My point about the private sales is bad things can come for private sales. Everything in life is a trade. So mm -hmm. the thing is, are you willing to trade your ability to not have the government be able to track your weapons? Are you willing to trade that? For uh, somebody that's already not allowed to have weapons to potentially get a weapon and commit a crime with it, I'm not willing to make that trade. Okay. So I mean that that's that that's very simple. Okay, cool. I think that like having a background check ran and then like filing like the serial number for who owns it, I think that's an okay thing. I think most Americans agree with that too. But no, I I, I don't think. Well, most Americans possibly, if there's a physical mass, I'm not gonna say that's not true. But I know a lot of people that don't want the government to be to have a database on on every single gun they have. Hell no, because at that time they can literally, if mm -hmm. if, if they wanted to, in that case. Uh, they can literally force you to do it, to force everybody to say they have a gun, and then they can forcefully know exactly who has them and forcefully come take them at any point with ease. And um, that's just not freedom. And um, nah, Do you think we I'm should not... get rid of vehicle identification numbers as well? VINs on cars? Should we make that illegal so the government can't know who has what car? I'm going to be 100% honest with you. 100% honest with you. Mm -hmm. Right. When it comes to VIN numbers... And things of that nature. I do think people should be able to have a license, but I think a lot of stuff with cars is bullshit. To be honest with you, a lot of it is really just uh, to to make money. You shouldn't. No, um, I don't have a definite view on that because I have to look up all the laws surrounding it. But um, yeah, I like freedom. If you get what I'm saying, I don't think the government has to know. I, I believe in less government. Okay. In in, in pretty much most cases. But murder is murder, you know. So if somebody murders somebody, even when it comes to the unborn, then of course that I think that should be punished, punished by in, in the law. Gotcha. Okay. Are yeah. you okay with like unrestricted immigration? I think every illegal immigrant needs to get sent back. So you are in favor of strong government protection, or you don't care about freedom there? 
Well, the, the, because it's already a law. It's the law is you can't just come in here illegally. Right, so if it was already a law that private sellers yeah. had to fill out a form forty four seventy three, then you would be okay with it if it was already a law. If it was an original law, then it would probably already be like that. So I wouldn't have no experience of the freedom. But you don't. I know you don't advocate for anybody to be able to just walk into any country and live, do you? Um, the, the, with these, restrictions, these yeah, these, for sure. These, these, these are two different things. I know you don't agree with that, do you? No, I kind of do, yeah. I think I'm a big, I'm kind of no like, way. yeah, libertarian when it comes to open borders, yeah. No way, no, no way. Yeah, I, I think people should sort themselves economically rather than by like the government saying who can live in what place. No. I think that's a really weird way to use government to tell people where they can live. I think that's really strange. That's a lot of freedom restrictions right there. I don't believe you. I don't believe you are that far left. Well, just just to be clear, that's not a far left. That's a far right argument. That's a libertarian argument for open well, borders. Well, libertarians are you know, a lot of them have sort of left because a lot of leftists agree with open borders. Uh, but now I, I see. I'm starting to get a more of a taste for your views, and it's it's really so interesting. Um, so hold on, you believe in open borders? I mean, like with with certain things changing, yeah. With what changing? I, I need to know this, and I really do have to go. First sure. Is so I think oil. that um, is tomorrow. sure. Yeah. So I think that like people should sort themselves in like the most economically efficient way possible. Um, however, you would have to be careful what kind of state benefits you're giving to certain people because you wouldn't want people immigrating to an area just to capitalize off of like state benefits. That would be a bad thing. So if you were coming to this country to work or whatever, it should probably take like a year or two of paying into the tax system or whatever before you can just start taking like uh, like ty types of social welfare. Would be a bad thing. Oh, but you think if they come here, they 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 need to pay they they fair they fair shake before they even get allowed into to society though. Yeah, once you start paying taxes, stuff. I mean, most illegal immigrants already pay more than they get out. So yeah, of course, like once you start paying taxes and stuff, yeah, I think you should be allowed to be well, running the system. I, I still disagree with that, but that's not what I was thinking. You were saying that's not like just freely open borders. I I I was thinking you were saying something else, and then I was gonna ask you, do you think all countries should be that way? I don't. I can't speak for any other. I mean, yeah, I guess ideally, but I can't speak for how other countries. I mean, you have to shit. because cause it's not. It wouldn't be fair for other countries to have immigrants and. Like, I don't. We'll be the only one without them. I, I, I mean, I guess I would be in favor, but I can only talk about what I want America to do. I mean, yeah, I think every country should, but I can't force them to do that. I'm an American citizen. I vote for American leaders. I don't go to other countries and vote for who their leadership. Are you America first? Are you pro America? Or are you just are you like pro humanity? Yeah, I'm pro humanity, way oh. before any country. Oof. Okay. But I'd say, like, I'd be, like, America second. Kind of like how you're, like, Republican Party first, America second, right? So we each have our priorities. No, that's that's not true. You see, I just asked you a question, you answered the question, and then you try to assume me. No, I, I actually, I put God first. Um, oh, shit, so America's, like, third or fourth for you, damn. America is... Be like Amer it'd be, like, God, family, Republican Party, Trump, TPUSA, and then America six, maybe? Is that fair? Yeah, that's what you're saying is very funny. Um, no... I'm God first, um, family second, and then America, Amer America after that. Mm -hmm. But I, I am pro-American, which means I care about America as any other people and from any country, to be honest. And I think not only do we need to, you know, send everybody back as illegal immigrants, but I also think I'm just letting you know how my views are because your views are very interesting. And I think we need to not stop legal immigration. But I think it should be harder to become a legal immigrant in this country. Why? Because if you come here legally, you should be giving something to society. So if you have something like, if, if you're super smart, you're a doctor, you're one of the best doctors on the planet, and you want to live here, that makes sense. That's a high value. Why would we not allow that? You're a scientist, same thing. Why would we not allow that? Even if you're somebody who can code very well, you're a coder out out the ass, you know what I'm saying? Of course, we want you in this country. But if you come in here and you say your reasoning is because you want a better life for your family, I know people in America that want better lives for their families, which means we can't worry about you right now. You don't think there's any value in low skill labor? You say any value in low skill labor? We we have people here that can. Have, we have people here that can do that. We have people here that, that that's trying to provide more for their families. We have people here that's looking for Wasn't that. unemployment under Trump literally like three and a quarter percent? It sounds like what we need are more workers. It sounds like most people are already working now. Most people were working. You know, that was T. We were big lit before Big Rona hit. No count. But, um. So then doesn't that mean we should have wanted more immigrants to come and work, especially low skill workers? I mean, but in that case, if you need immigrants, do we get them as we need them? Just come here just because without. With no skill, then no. If we need you, then yes. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? If we need you, here we good. But if you need us, 
if you ain't giving us nothing, then no, you shouldn't be able to just come here. And it might that may sound harsh, but I mean that's just how I feel, you know? Okay. Do you not agree with that? Um, no, I mean I think that all types of immigrants are valuable to the economy. And if you're already here especially and you've already been like paying into the system, like illegal immigrants, you should probably just be made citizens. Makes it easier to keep <laughs> Oh, I about, that's crazy. I'm I'm actually I'm actually shocked by your views on this. I don't know why I'm shocked. I guess I saw you debate Hassan Piker, so I thought y'all were a little different. Okay. But I mean, I'm just I'm a big economy guy. I don't want America to just be decent, you know. Well, our economy is more than decent. Well, not currently because we shut down, but our economy is you know more than decent, you know. Uh, yeah, not for everybody, but for some people, yeah. For 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 a large percentage of Americans, actually, our our poor people would be considered like nothing close to poor mm-hmm. compared to other countries. <clears throat> other Western European countries? I say other countries, just in general. I didn't oh, so you're comparing that. us to like what, like Sub-Saharan Africa or like corrupt like South American countries? Or no, what, I, what? I, I'm saying our poor people eat. Yeah. They have food. Our poor they people definitely eat. do better than poor people in like Vietnam. That's true. But yeah. then, then, then then a lot then a lot of countries, unless you're Okay, stop me when I name a country that you think our poor people do better than. Finland, Norway, Sweden, the United Kingdom, France, Spain, Belgium, Italy, Portugal, I have Germany. A question about these I'm just I'm just curious, which of these countries do you uh, think that no, our poor people do question. better? I'm super curious. I have a country. What are the welfare systems in these countries? Um, a lot of them provide like no cost at the point of utilization uh, health insurance, um, so you can yep. get like medical examinations and stuff at either extremely yep. reduced cost or yeah. For you. Um, a lot of them provide dramatically expanded unemployment benefits. Um, yep. A lot of them provide like actual guaranteed like time off like every single year, like yep. multiple weeks off. Yeah. Keep going. So, mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> I, I, I a mean, lot of them have free 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 college. Sure. Oh yeah, a lot of them have more education benefits. Yeah. yeah. And they also pay a large amount in taxes, right? Sure. Yeah, they do. Also, I got a question for you. And uh, okay, after this one, I really do got to go. We mm-hmm. can probably catch up on we have another time. I'm surprised you're not on Twitter. I have like 70,000 followers on Yeah, I got, I unfortunately, a... I got banned from Twitter. So, you know, here we are. Oh, yeah. I got suspended a few times. You know how that goes. Um, but uh, my question is, let me try to say it in the in the best way possible regarding these other countries. In what country does poor little bob have the chance to become the bill gates or mm. a chance to become the elon musk in which country do that do the poor person have the best opportunity to do that in literally every other country i just mentioned could theoretically no be. Yep. they don't have they, they, they don't have a better a, a better chance at becoming the, the next mm. elon musk versus pretty sure America. they do yeah i think so yeah they do so which one has the most billionaires um, the most billionaires. I'm not sure. I know that France, I think, has the most um, major corporations per capita of any country. Um, I know that every Scandinavian country has way more social mobility than the United States, which is how likely is it from a poor person to become a rich person. Um, and um, in terms of like who ha- who is the high who is the like can be the absolute richest people in the world. I mean, I guess the United States, but I mean, which country people... has the most billionaires per capita though? How many billionaires? Why does that matter? Okay. Millionaires. Which country? Which country has the most millionaires per capita? Um, countries with most millionaires per per capita. Per capita. Um, let me check. Hold on. Um, so rank one is Switzerland, rank two is Hong Kong, and then rank three is the United States. List of countries by the. I can't hear you. your thing is cutting out. Oh, uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. What'd you say? We have eighteen thousand six hundred and fourteen millionaires. We have five thousand six hundred and seventy one millionaires per hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. And of course when you go to Also to be clear, Kong, that first number is wrong. We have eighteen million six hundred and fourteen thousand millionaires. Yeah, 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 my bad, my bad. I read it wrong, I read it wrong, I read it wrong. Mm-hmm. But in Hong Kong Per millionaires, you can correct me and say it the right way because this is per hundred thousand. So if I say it, I'm saying it in that way. Mm-hmm. Hong Kong per hundred thousand has six thousand nine hundred and seventeen yep. uh, millionaires, which is more than us, right? Per capita. Yep. Right. Yeah. Let's look at some other ones per capita that's more than us. Also, Switzerland as well. Switzerland. 
has 9,428 millionaires per capita. Yeah, 9,000 per capita. Now, go to number of millionaires overall, though, in that country. Why would I care about overall? Well, in this aspect, we simply have an overwhelming amount of, like, more. What does it matter? We also have, like, one of the largest populations in the world. We do. Who has a larger population than us? Um, India, China, I don't know. Who yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, go look at their amount of millionaires. Oh, so you think we're doing better than two developing countries? Is that the argument no, you want to run with right any now? Country, any country. I'm just saying in the United States of America, you can literally become Bill Gates. You can literally go from the, you can literally go from the bottom. Do you the think top. most people and do that? Do you think most people can become Bill Gates? Most people don't, but I would rather have the opportunity to become that than be stuck in mediocrity. I don't, and, that, and that's just how I always I live. Mean, mediocrity nobody... is called mediocrity because that's where most people are. Don't you think the countries no. where most mediocre people are doing way better than the mediocre American person? Don't you think that's better no. than the fact that you could become a billionaire? Nobody, no, I, I don't think that. I think you, you should have the opportunity to be able to make yourself from scratch and what won't do that is more uh regulations mm-hmm. more taxes higher uh corporate taxes that won't do that and of course lower corporate taxes that all that also promotes a, a, a lower unemployment rate and things of that nature that's why things happen because you're loosening up things now, don't right. get me wrong well, lower I'm taxes not... on business have nothing to do with unemployment it's not going to make people hire people more that's not why companies hire we're not going to make people hire people more L- lower corporate tax rates no of course not lower corporate tax rates won't in, uh, 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 influence companies to hire more people? No, you hire people because you're trying to sell more products because you're expanding your business, not because the government's giving you no, more no. money. No, no, but if you're able to, you'll get a hold of that and you get raises because of that. What are you talking about? Is that no, not, you're is not that not get raises economic? because of that either. Of course not. Why would a company give you a raise because they get a tax break? What? Because they have more money to spend on things of that nature. That's what are you talking how, about? So, what I'm t- so when you're in a business... Labor is a cost of doing business. If you save money, you're not going to arbitrarily increase your costs. That doesn't make any sense. The only way you're investing in future labor is if you think you have more markets what? to sell to. Yeah, this is econ. This is finance 101, I think. Hey, you know what? Yeah. I don't know. When the next time you're free, but please argue economic. Yeah, anytime. If you ever want to visit how basic like the cost of doing business work, we can talk about it. Sure. Yes, yes. I, my, mm-hmm. I, 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 I'm, I'm in a family that has all businesses. Mm-hmm. I know... I. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, this... then you can ask your dad or whatever. You can say, hey, dad, if uh, the government no, gave you $100,000, um, oh, okay. Well, you own a business? If the government gave you well, $100,000, well, I... would you just randomly give wages, uh, raises to no, all no. your employees? Well, small businesses complain all the time. You know how many small businesses closed because people wanted to raise or small businesses complained because people wanted to raise the minimum wage at $15 an hour? A small business can't handle $15 an hour because you, you already have all these taxes. You already have all these things on top of that. Mm-hmm. If you lower taxes, that's simply loose. Okay, listen, I really do have to go. My birthday is coming up and I'm late already. Okay. Listen, sure. you get, I'm going to email you. You give me a time you want to debate economics and I'm, I'm sure you left on economics. Uh, pretty far left, yeah. Like you're pretty close to socialism? Um, in your eyes, yeah, probably I'd be a socialist. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I know that. That's in my in my opinion. I'm not saying you are, but yeah. that's how I'm viewing it at this exact moment. Right? Mm-hmm. And I'm not like a hundred percent. I don't believe in hundred percent capitalism. Cause I know America is a mixed. Mm-hmm. I think a mixed economy is pretty good. I'm just curious. Is Turning Point USA is that registered as like a political entity or whatever? Do they have to report salaries? Oh, I don't know, bro. Oh, I'm an okay. ambassador, bud. Oh, okay, just curious. All right. I don't know, but I'm gonna email you as soon as I get this. I'm about to. All right, well, have fun with your birthday. Shots of Tito's. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This was fun. Uh, yeah, I'm going to holler at you. All right, have fun. I'll talk to you later, man. Yes, sir. Fucking Christ. Um, I like the I like that line of attack because I found that usually like um I, we don't get to talk to Republicans as much because we're dealing with dipshit lefties right now. But um, I usually can like measure how successful like a certain rhetorical strategy is based on like how quickly my mom would cry when I would do it. And the thing that always made my mom cry the most is when I would start telling her like, "Wow, mom, when I grew up and you were in the Air Force, you kept telling me how great America was and this and that and that. Mom, why are you so happy that we're like 27th in the world in education? Mom, why are you so happy that we're like 15th in the world in median income?" Blah, blah. And my mom would like cry and get like so upset like immediately <laughs> it's always like it's like the easiest like line of attack personally i don't give that much of a fuck to about american exceptionalism but republicans do so it's very interesting to me when you're a republican and you say america is the best country in the world but then you're like well we're 14th in this 27th in that and that's okay like 
Okay, well, that doesn't seem to be very exceptional, my dude. That kind of makes America just sound like a middle-of-the-road country. If that's what you want it to be, that's fine, but... I want credit for Joshua, okay? I want to say that I ended his campaign run. Please, let me have this, guys.